Oh, give me a minute. All right, let's go. Welcome to the streamer one. How's it going? All right. So many people here already. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday, or still Saturday. I was a slumber, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I slept like eight or nine hours or so, that was nice. <clears throat> we don't have to kill ourselves right now, I think. <laughs> yeah, doing Witch Doctor now. After the Demon Hunter. I'm gonna play some Nunugu until we have gear, and then we're probably gonna do GRs with uh, Sami Bears. I tried so hard to get a barber yesterday, and I couldn't. It was sad. I crafted like 20 or 30 knives. Dude, what is going on here? <coughs> Hello? Try like T11 for now. Thank you, yeah, like. Watch one drop on the first run. I really wouldn't mind, man. Look, I have like no materials. I crafted all my materials to try to get a Samaroli knife, and now and I'm stuck. I mean, I have full Mundunugu, which is fine. But yeah, man. Blah. I'm kind of tempted to maybe. Maybe I just go into the age and just farm a few more blood shards and just try to gamble it. I mean, we have double legendaries on Gamble, so... <laughs> Gambling one-handed weapons. But yeah, maybe I'll do that, actually. For a little bit. <clears throat> Inna Death Nova. That's an interesting combo. <laughs> Yeah, we'll D3 for the day, exactly. So today we're gonna play D3, maybe tomorrow as well. And uh, Tuesday we're gonna get D4 news already, and that probably means we're gonna... Um, not do that much anymore. Alright, do I have the shot on my Witch Doctor already? 
Oh, it's there. Okay. <clears throat> Ah, well, let's try it. I think, does anyone know if the death blow explosion works with Spirit Barrage? I don't think it does, right? Would be interesting to try, though. We have our Martin's gifts, right? We have 20, so let's just take this. We'll put this in there. It's gonna boon. It's gonna powerful. Let's get the Gogok, I guess, or something. I can do traps. 150 trap doll, Monka. Okay, we also need some stuff here. Class of worship. Oh, we have only one Avarice ban, right? Here. <clears throat> do I have a Ring of Royal Granger? I, in fact, do not. Okay, we have to get one. I don't want to swap this around for my followers. Okay. Can I die? Here's this. This, this, this. Dude, I can't even craft canes right now. Yikes. Actually, okay. Wait. Are we running the pet gem for this? No. We run Essence of Anguish. Okay. There's a pretty big anti D4 sentiment going on right now in the public's eye. Yeah, people like to hate for no reason. And people don't understand how seasons work. Get me out of. Yeah, I have literally zero magic dust. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Let's go and throw this in there, I guess. Okay. Let's try some visions, see what happens. Hey, boy there. Nice to see you. You have to get a vessel's uh, ring in here. Oh shit, I actually forgot to... I'm, I'm not sure if I fixed the sound now, or if maybe it's fixed itself. I just realized what the... Need to run these gifts. Uh, visions. Visions in general drops more loot than other stuff. And run these, it's just a random drop, so you want to farm vision. What do I prefer? D3 or D4? I uh, prefer D4 quite a lot more. I mean, right now it's the D3 season start, so I'm playing it, you know, it's fun. But it doesn't remain fun like D4 does for me. 
Die vorderste Schwester auch noch Pfingst, wenn du immer fängst. Okay, hier wir Hopefully we get some uh, Goblin Rift here. That'll be nice. And where's the guy? What the fuck? Glad you enjoy the music. Yeah, for those uh, who are watching on YouTube, I don't have music on YouTube, but I have it on Twitch if you want to watch there with music. Okay, so chat, can you hear the, the in game sounds a little bit or not? Did that fix itself now? No. Fuck's sake, man. What happened? <laughs> Why does it just not work anymore? Okay, what about now? Let's just set it to default. Okay, can I get no loot here? I think I'm gonna go into the H for a little bit, get some of blood shards, and try to gamble for a ceremony knife. Did I wake up earlier or not? No, I went to sleep last today at like 9 p.m. and then I woke up at 6 today. Also, I think I don't have a pet yet. Who won legendary? And he's T11, like, we're like 10 levels deep and we barely get loot here. I think this is not a strat right now. We're gonna go into the age for a little bit. Uh, guys, sorry, but I'm not sure why my Diablo 3 doesn't give you any sounds. It should. It worked on other games exactly with those settings, so what the fuck. <clears throat> okay, we are getting loot here actually in those later levels. We get lucky for a long one. I wonder what happens if I just put it on on the same track as my microphone. That should probably give you sound, actually. So can you hear it now? the fuck? Nothing? Okay, dude, something is fucked. <laughs> in this game. What the hell? Mm. 
<clears throat> I'm not sure what I will do if I do default. I can try. Just make the noise yourself, okay. Okay, you can hear it now. Okay, it's gonna keep going with this then, I guess. I guess I should have done that yesterday, but whatever. Let's do it for today. Yeah, it's, I have no idea which audio track this will go to now for the recording, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, out of air crystals. I'm gonna check this later. I have no idea where the default track goes. <laughs> it was like Pony's Academy. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god, man, I forgot the gems. That's what you need. Powerful at least. Can't hurt to have a bit more paragons, I guess. So let's hope we can just gamble the ceremonial knife. Needs more time. Actually, you just need the powerful, right? Powerful, Zay, and... Wait, what were we running? Was it a trap, actually? Maybe. Which wings? These are the cosmic wings. No, not cosmic wings, galactic wings. They're from season 17 or season 29. Now yeah, we actually had a trap, so okay. So let's take this. How many keys do we have? I don't know, 46, that's not bad. You actually won't have to farm that many uh, normal rifts, I guess, on a wish doctor. You can just do visions, get some gear for like, you know, five hours or something, and then we'll see where we're at. So, maybe go 150 witch doctor later. Like Raymond Monk in season 30. Yeah, Raymond was like very fun now with the rework they did with the combination strike passive and stuff. I'd like to play that a little bit as well if I would make a monk. That and Uliana. We have a cube, this is Echoing Fury, St. Archius, and Rock. Okay, 
So long boss kill, what happened? Okay, let's collect some blood shards and then gamble again on the witch doctor. Get another hour and force and stuff. We need enforcer level 150. We need is simplicity 150. Now, do we go for stricken? We might not go for stricken, we might go for trapped instead. All these. No, Ilu Central is Monka. You can get to 150 now. Uh, I mean, half the game's lifespan, we have been able to do 150s, but yes. I just woke up, yeah. And it was very easy to sleep after 30 hours awake. This is hardcore, yeah. You can see the top right as a hardcore as F icon. This is Shadow Impel the aim and the Wonder build. Actually, I should empower these rifts. I'm not really planning to do that many GRs, I guess. So let's empower everything we can. While we're doing this. <coughs> it's nice that I have the Demon Hunter to just like easily farm my gemstone on a 50 as well. We're gonna make an Enforcer, I'm in Simplicity, we're gonna prepare for Zuni, I guess. <laughs> Try Zuni on a 50 push later. Might actually be, might actually be pretty tanky this season, I realized. Zuni, because of the sliver of terror, you have how many cooldowns on Zuni? Fetish army, Rania, Orify, that's three. Spirit walk four. What else is there? I guess you can go five cooldowns actually, right? That's actually pretty sick. You have the darts and then I don't know voodoo. Nah, Soul Harvest. Yeah, we have 5 cooldowns actually, that's sick. So we get 25% crit, 25% attack speed. And you get um, like 60% damage reduction. And you run Drags of Lies, no Essence of Anguish, so you don't take extra damage. Because you're doing pet build. Yeah, Zuni is gonna be pumping. Yeah, we're gonna do a darts later. I also wanna do a zombie bears because I just like it. Mundunugo on a 50 would also be fun. Mundunugo with Ring of Fire. I don't think I've done that back in Season 25. I'm not sure if I played Witch Doctor there. But it sounds pretty fun. It's like Gold Age stuff. I'm not sure if I really want to keep any of this. Shadow's heels. <coughs> I think I have to sort out some of my Demon Hunter stuff anyway. 
don't even want to keep that much around. We need uh, to collect Witch Doctor loot here. Okay, for Zuni, I'll probably also need an Enchantress, right? With all skills relic. For the extra elemental damage and attack speeds. <laughs> so good It's actually crazy how the paragons fly with the altar and stuff. I think even here I do like multiple paragons per run right now. Let's see how much actually I'm gonna turn in. Probably like three or something just gonna turn in. I don't know. We need how much? It's 92. And these runs are like one and a half minutes. So per hour I'll probably still get like over 100 paragons right now. I've seen someone type half the message on Twitch and half on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I'm tracking both chats, but that's kind of funny. Are you going to get banned for mentioning Turbo Hut? No, but just don't convince people that it's good and we're, good. we're fine. Gambling one hand weapons is weird. They do get a okay amount. Oh, what do I actually still have to do for the season journey? Complete asset dungeon. Okay, Gorman also done and convert a set item. Okay, Rakanov. Kill him out for air, so he just kill a bunch of bosses and that's it. And convert a set item and do a set dungeon. <laughs> Alright. And I saw a message that someone said visions were nerfed 45 minutes ago. Surely. Hot fixed. <laughs> Why is the feet prettier than the four? That's a pretty hot take. Do you want 
The overall theme is better. Really? I don't know. I mean, this might be a bit of taste as well, but I think like the Arbor 4 looks superb, if you ask me. It's not that I dislike the defeat visuals. Free is brighter, Glash. <laughs> I mean, one big complaint that people had of C3 was that it was too colorful. And that's kind of a valid point. I mean, at least they are using the, uh, the full color palette, I guess. But I don't know. I really like the default art style. <clears throat> the other four is a gift from the artists. <laughs> I mean, like all the like sound, visuals, and everything have done an incredible job for sure. What's the best class and build for someone who's playing hardcore the first time? Uh, good question. I mean, generally, I think that Demon Hunter is a pretty good hardcore class. You just have to be aware that you can one-shot yourself from from reflects, from spinners and sand dwellers. Barb is relatively forgiving, I'd say. Hold up, Barb. It's like pretty tanky build, pretty strong. Oh, do you get primals? You get primals. A god chest. <laughs> What, what do you want me to tell you, Falcon? There's a shitty god chest. I am from Germany, yes. Are you probably the anger shard? Uh, the explosion does poison damage, so it procs it. And then the follower weapon, you can roll poison damage on it. But this doesn't work for the 50% extra damage version, just the explosion and the stacks.
Oh, Primus again. Oh, that's Hulk, I love. Oh, shit. It's a blade. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see. F. But it has physical res. That's something. I think that's an upgrade. I'm not sure if I had physical res on mine. Let me see. Now we had lightning res. Okay, that's actually nice. Even though it's a tally. Half a crit, four crit damage, 130 dex, and fizz res. That's a. I would probably re augment this if I was going for Natalia again. I win. This season is a replay. What? Last time I checked, Natalia did something very different when there were soul shards in the game. They just are doing 45 seconds on the 30s. Yeah, 4 men. <laughs> I mean, if we did this in 4 men here, yeah, we could probably also go almost the same, to be honest. I think Impale would be pretty close to this in 4 men. If we support the age and Z neck or whatever, Z barb. Yeah, these Crusades are actually doing surprisingly well, I gotta say. If you were a mod, you take care of these dumb remarks. Uh, I don't know, let dumb people be dumb, it's fine. You know, some people are born this way. You can't change them. He's stuck in the low torments. Mm, try to farm some visions. They drop a lot of loot. You can try to get your, your upgrades there. Okay, we can gamble more one-handed weapons, guys. Let's go. Oof, man, there's so many weapons. Uh, we actually get a few materials, so let's see. And this is... Are these ceremonial knives? Does this work? Can I use the level 61? This is the level 61 version, right? It works. Okay. Dude, is actually insane. How are we not getting this fucking barber? Hi, Panas. No, we're not making him make a. We're not planning to make a peanut witch doctor. I also want to try on a 50 on witch doctor later. No peanut.
Autsch. Way too often today, man. What's going on? Maybe we're gonna add like 200 points in vitality or so just to like chill a bit more. I'm also gonna get bigger shields on our gloves. <laughs> Shadow Nerf Vision 25 minutes ago and just getting T7, dude. <laughs> For sure, man. They woke up on Sunday morning and they were like, fuck, man, we really need to nerf those visions now. So wait a minute, what things do I need for Sunimasa? So we need Dagger of Darts, Sunimasa Offend, Death Diggers, Mask of Jeram or Carnival, preferably Carnival, Endless Walk, Rock, COE with Attack Speed, Actually, we're gonna have so much fucking attack speed. I wonder if I should actually go for Echoing Fury. We could probably go Sacred Harvest there. And <laughs> it would probably be fine, man. And we're gonna be so fucking tanky. Maybe I'll do that. Now, wait, Sacred Harvester would only work if I. Ah, shit. Sacred Harvester only works if I have Lakumba. But we don't have Lakumba. Unless we don't go all guilds, and we kind of want to go all guilds. Morning. I'll get weapons of legend power and be free. What do you mean? It's a shadow mantle build, yeah, it's a shadow mantle. I have some links on the YouTube description if you're looking for uh, links there. Uh, Yeah, the rank 2 soul shot upgrade is random. It can also give you off off class stats. Like, like as a demon hunter, you can get arcane damage on your weapon shard and stuff. I mean, you don't need dexterity. You know, vitality is also fine. Even like melee and range reduction is pretty good. So you can definitely go with these stats as well.
<laughs> you stop playing because there's no more Rosbot and Turbo HUD. It's kind of a funny thing to say when you think about it. Who was actually playing? Ah, maybe I misunderstood it. He might be right. He stopped playing because HUD and Rosbot existed. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Well, turns out the game is really good. I cleared 150 with Antalya. Got a gemstone first one. It's a 20% 20 20 drop right now for the gemstone. It's not that hard to get anymore. Got insider infos, reasons have been shadow buffed to the former glory. Just one hour later. Hey <laughs> Majir, how are you? Give me one upgrade, let's go. Fucking kill me, man. <laughs> I can't get this fucking ceremony knife, man. There's only like seven options. That's insane. Now, guys, the visions were not nerfed. We're just memeing on some dude who thought they were. I'm not gonna like randomly nerf the visions. They're already nerfed from this patch. much time I did. I mean my, my clear time. I cleared 150 a few times. I think like five times or so. And my last clear was 11 and a half minutes or something. And I kind of just left it there. I did like four runs with Ring of Fire and then I swapped my Helm Shot to Shot of Hatred and then I did an even faster run. Thank you. That's really fun, actually. 
it feels very satisfying to play Natalia in a push and you know once you once you understand how to do it, it feels really cool. I've definitely learned a lot yesterday and also last Sunday when I like was warming up. When I did the uh, rank one season twenty nine. Natalia's a very interesting build. Yeah, Countess Paragon 1260 since 2012. <laughs> I mean, if you did like the majority of your gameplay uh, in the first half decade of the game, then that's somewhat understandable. Because, well, these days people can farm the equivalent of like 0 to 1000 Paragons in like an hour. So. It's okay. I'm gonna try Natalia. Uh, it's very difficult to just explain everything. It's a very complicated build. But TLDR, you can pull enemies with good timing when you use cow drops and spike drops together. So you try to make large pulls and then you try to time your nukes around uh, convention cycles. So you try to pull them in right on the convention cycle, everything is stacked up for air damage, and you nuke them down. And the hardest part on Natalia is pulling stuff properly and then surviving. It's also a very squishy build. This season it's a bit better than normal because of the soul shards. But yeah. And also you have the altar now to see your shadow power, so you have like an extra defensive skill there, which is nice. Camera's kind of washed out. Oh. What the fuck happened there? I think it's because the... <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah, the sun is uh, shining right into the lens somewhere. I'm not sure if I can fix that. I think I just have to deal with it for the next half hour or something. <laughs> I usually don't stream at like 7 in the morning. And there's no curtain I can pull there. I got an Ancient Yangs, look at that. It's actually a pretty decent one. Raise the sun. <laughs> Lo fi Instagram filter, yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't have don't have any way to like block out the sun there, so it's just like a tiny window in the corner and then like half an hour or so I guess the sun moves around and they're fine. Alright, uh, right away. This build on Maxwell is similar to my build. Uh, yes. Little newsflash, I wrote the guide on Maxwell.
What is up with chat today, by the way? What is going on? Where's the witch doctor? Yeah. I, I tried to do like a run or so, but I'm waiting for a barber still. I'm trying to farm up a barber right now and have zero months to craft one. So gambling it. I think once you have it, you can like easily do G16 visions. Reaper's <clears throat> Raps is not from Barney's, it's from Mouth Ale. Now, gambling weapons is disparage. But it's better than gambling bugged rings, <coughs> because the altar doesn't buff the rings and, and also the boots. So you don't get double there. At least on the weapons you get double. So it's actually not too bad, it's just that there's many weapons. I'm getting similar times on Fizz Impale. Interesting, actually. But they have like very big explosions, right? Maybe I should try it. Can't do 150 on Wizards, Softcore, or Hardcore. That's a really big guarantee to make. Do you understand that? Do we have a Fizz Holy Point Shot? I think I only cut the fire. Keep on from moving as the mouse will. So try to gamble a quiver and see the physical variant. You can roll the bracer. What lighting do? Yeah, lighting will probably be very comparable to cold, I think, for these speedruns. But physical is definitely something I want to try. So physical should be something like nearly double impact damage or so, right? A bit less. And I guess fire? I'm not sure how fire works exactly with the explosion. Do you, do you know that, Sabke? I 
On board of the forum? No. Build a Shadow Impale on Maxwell. Yeah, that's what I guess as well, Sepke. So, I might try the, the physical. Should be nice as well. Should we just roll Bracer to first and see? Maybe we'll try that. Without the cover even. My weapon shard is crit, so it's fine. That's my crit chance, 64. So there aren't the lighting spires in the area, they always proc here. Nah, it's difficult. Usually you just want to destroy them. You don't want to be tanky enough to tank them, or you want to just destroy them in speedruns. Or use like a, you know, immunity or something. He wants to run Diablo over the stake. <laughs> Oh no. Guess the grievous wounds. Let's try it. My precious magic dust. What do you have? 87. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. Close, man. Okay, so let's see. I don't have a cold quiver, so it's the wrong element. This quiver is actually so awful, man. Look at that shit. Okay, we're doing a physical bracer. Let's go. Oh man, I like the red. It's cool. Yeah, well, I can hold it. Thank you so much for support. I mean, if I get faster boss kills than elite kills now, which is gonna be nice. A better cold, I guess. Plus the explosions probably takes care of the AoEs. Pretty similarly. So this definitely allows you to go higher more easily, because you just kill elites way faster. So let's just go up, like, you know. 3 tiers, and see what happens. Oh my god, I can barely see anything on my screen now. Sun is shining. And these maps here, yeah. it's too dark. Yeah, I think Zepki are right. Physical might be the best. Oh, 
I'm trying to go plus three tiers and see what happens. So that's Epic as good as D3. I played like the last week, it was really nice. And uh, next month they have the 1.0 launch. Really looking forward to it, I'm gonna play it. Also planning to make some guides for it and stuff. I know the game pretty well now. I've leveled three different characters and you know tried a lot of stuff. Seems faster without changing the color, yeah? Also forgot to go high tiers. I wish I could play D3 with the darkening of Tristan graphics all the time. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, David Erickson, thanks for the time. Upgrade failed, wonderful. I, need to go back. I think I might just keep going a little bit longer with this. But do we have anything to gamble under the age that we can gamble for the Witch Doctor? Mojos. I actually got a good Tsunimasa offhand already, so I probably don't want to gamble Mojos anymore. My favorite class to play in ARPG is... Uh, is there like one class that's in every ARPG? Yeah, I'm gonna post that on 50 on YouTube. I mean, I usually like the fast classes. Bow stuff, etc. Which one? Oh man. So it's 116 now. Let's go. Which game do I like most? PUE, D4, or last epoch? Ah, uh, D4 for me. Kind of why I play D4 like 10 hours a day.
What's the best way to get up here fresh? He's 70 crusades so yeah. Visions is very good for gearing early on. You can do them. Oh shit. Okay, I'll take that one. Yeah, I think if I, you know, augment the stuff, get a physical quiver, yeah, we could be doing 120s, 90 seconds, pretty comfortably at this point. And honestly, I think if I put like 200, 300 points in vitality, I would be tanky enough to not randomly proc like this. And we just go without cheat death on, on our character and go next up passive. Just have the Templar cheat death. Like right now I'm like 300 paragons, I have no augments. So I'm just kind of squishy. No guardian set either. I'm not using enchanters now. On hardcore, it's very nice to go with Templar because if you DC, you have a pretty high chance to survive. And in general, the Templar is just like. I really like Templar for pushing because he's like more predictable than the other followers. Like, you know, when you make a pull and you, you can position the Templar somewhere and then he will stay there. So, like, the Shandos who just constantly runs away and then, you know, pulls enemies apart and stuff. Although I will push with an enchanters later for Zunimasa, I guess. So I have to gear one up. Nice. I do we need Tascus? No. It's only four Gargs, right? What about Quinn? He's another streamer. I've seen his name dropped in other streams. Yeah, Quinn is universally considered the god gamer.
slow. So I just actually. Dude, so many dream maps today. The build I'm playing right now is Shadow Impel. I'm ready for some rip clip. Ah, oh, here we go. Sure. From you or what? After this. Hey, Sakaza, by the way. How are you doing? Five percent in transformer map without even letting anything transform. That's kind of crazy. What is this Crusader? Are you playing Invoker or what? I am currently 10% off, but I don't need this suppression. What happened there? Okay, level 15. You have visions, I guess. Dude, what? Hey, did you don't even have she death or what? Wait, you were playing with, with zero she death? What is this? He said the follower is dead, I guess. Is she dead? Hey, what is this? The follower is not dead. F. That was fast though. Yeah, I mean, 3 million HP doesn't really tell you much when you don't have damage reduction, so that is, you have to get your overall toughness, I guess. Gonna try Lost Ark. Yeah, I played it once for a sponsorship when the what was it called? The Jumpstart service or something came out. I mean it seems like a decent game, but it's not for me. Better fight screen drop rate is five percent in graves. I cannot afford that. Well, Yeah, the raids seem very good. The raids and the dungeons, that's like really a strong suit of Lost Ark, I guess. <laughs> so key man, having a good time in the season 30. Speech. People happy.
How did the whole Elon Musk session came to be? Uh, Elon Musk follows me on Twitter. He's been replying to some of my posts and we've been talking a little bit. And uh, at some point he just uh, gave me his battle tag and I added him. And then he invited me to a party. Yeah, Elon Musk cleared a 25, by the way. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah, IRL party, man. I've been uh, sipping champagne with Elon Musk for sure. And kill my shot. <laughs> Wash out is more like a vodka drinking place. <laughs> True, I guess. I'm playing on playing Papa XR too. Oh yeah, I'm excited for PoE too. It's gonna be fun. Summer beta. I don't think they will allow us to stream the closed beta. I guess it's gonna be similar to the four. Stuff will be hidden for a while, but we'll see. I guess. Invited to close beta. Uh, not yet, I guess, but I mean, I think that's very likely, yes. I'm playing DPOE for three weeks now. Well, oh, seems like you're having a good time, Dofa. Cover the four in season three. Eh? I don't know what you're expecting, but I'm looking forward to season three a lot. Guardian said, "Not worth it anymore." Oh, Guardian said, "It's still good." on the builds. Right now I would probably be stronger if Guardian says. I just didn't didn't make one.
Yeah, not powered our price. Now we're not doing every character. I'm doing Demon Hunter and Witch Doctor, and that will probably be it. We don't have much time, you know. Starting Tuesday, we're gonna get D4 news and so on, and at that point, I'll probably just be in D4 mode again. Maybe I'll do a bit more, but we'll see. The real fun starts in March. Wait, what's in March? In Germany, and you present? Season 4? Season 4 is going to be April now. It's pretty in three months. Yeah, Season 4 is probably going to be like the biggest season yet, I guess. When it comes to D4. Every season is the biggest yet, yep. I mean, so far, true, actually. I wonder how season 3 will go. It's past my bedtime. Uh, no, I just woke up an hour ago. Two hours, actually. Yeah, it's been two hours and I'm still not really farming the Witch Doctor, that's actually sad. I wanna get on the Witch Doctor. Hey Alex. What's up? I'm just back up for MP down to 50. Mm, shouldn't be that crazy actually. What was I in season 25? I did the impale push. Now we can't, can't probably really see it here, but we were like maybe 3k or so when I did the 150 push. But it's also with Ido Terror Demon. <laughs> I've hit for Ido Terror Demon. But I mean, they buffed Impale by four tiers. You have the Altar now. That's probably like another five plus tiers. Yeah, I think you can probably start fishing at like 2 3k or so for like 150 is quite easily on Impale. With Ring of Fire Gaming. You have good boss damage. Holy. Okay, we have a lot of red crystals at least, so. We got almost did 150 of impaired previous of Terra Demon. <laughs> That's crazy actually. The Elo Terra Demon was pretty insane. That should be fun, actually.
I still, I still got a new one, by the way. That's insane as well. What the? Dude, this is fucking ridiculous what's going on here. <clears throat> I seen 26 hours yesterday. Ah, uh, yes. Farms, rolls, we log after losing all currency aware. Yes. Yeah, that's the wrong character. I have 3,000 blood shards. Best way to spawn visions. Uh, weeping Hollow and Festering Woods. Shade House, I got a pretty big buff this patch, yes. But still not really top tier or so, but it's got a lot better. What can I do with all these petrified screens, by the way? How did your season start go, by the way, Alex? I saw you were going SSF after all as well, or what? SD3, like D4, you can continue your seasonal character after finish the story. Uh, yeah, you can... You can choose campaign or adventure modes. You can do that at any time, basically. I mean, you don't really play campaign. If you, want, if you play this for the first time, yeah, do the campaign once and then never look back. Adventure mode is the game. Simplicity now. Okay, yeah, anything else we need? No, it should be good actually, after simplicity. So let's hope that once we're done with that, we're gonna be done here. With our Samuel and knife gambling. Cube is Echoing Fury, St. Archie is Rog. And they're 150 build percent higher. <laughs> Fuck you, Sylvia Necro. I mean, Auto Lancer is really strong now. You can just go Auto Lancer and run. It's probably strong enough to just like easy peasy. Go with like Stuart's Greaves and go real fast. But yeah, Inna is definitely smoother, I guess, because you don't have this cooldown thing.
Dragon Link King Jarrus. Holy's blasting. Holy's fighting on a paragon. Look at that. Sepki also a thousand almost. This is F soft corner. No, oh, was a pirate thing, yeah. <laughs> Actually, what did I do in season 27? I'm trying to remember, what did I play there? Did I also go for a 150 there? A sanctified season. Ah, okay, I remember. This was uh, with Wave of Light, right? And so insane one. I think I was number two. Because I had a super close fail. At 1% on Vesalius. That was the one. No, wait, this was Ethereal season, season 24. What did I do in Sanctified season? Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for the subgift. Dude, it's lost in... Oh, wait. They wrote crit cooldown? Okay. Well, yeah, this might be actually a new glove. If I ever go back to the time. We have the primal here. It's minus two crit, though. Sedge. With his Impel Shadow. Yeah, Sanctified also had Wave of Light thing, right? With the... With the bells. I don't think I did the world first then, right? Yeah, the wave of light was crazy build in season 27 with the bells. That was so powerful. My hair back then. Was it a long hair face? <laughs> I played softcore last time with the boys. 
Ага. Ja, ich sag Hasen. Wanna get the new gems? Ja, uh, you play the game. Ja, schieß geht es. If you really wanna like power farm some of the new gems, you go Darkening of Tristan and kill the Butcher in level 2. Drops 7 shards. And Oregon 3. Is it worth going for the Oric as well? Or just new game? Maybe it's good to go for the Oric as well. I wonder if the, the Darkening of Tristan is why they made the Soul Shards theme first. Because Soul Shards is a relatively recent one. Why am I playing Witch Doctor? Uh, someone has to. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to get a Barber, and then I switch to the Witch Doctor farm. I mean, might be leveling our gems, so I'll need them later for the uh, push. Sweet Master. That's not be fair, will help to run while pushing Greater Rifts. Uh, it depends on the build a bit. Builds are tankier and squishier. In most cases, for like 150 push, you're looking at like 1 to 3 billion toughness or so, depending on the playstyle of the build. That usually means, I uh, don't know, somewhere like 5-6k vitality or so is usually what I go for, but in some cases even more. I've had builds where I went up to like 8k, 10k vitality or something. Because they don't have like enough like damage reduction themselves, just make up for that with raw toughness, raw vitality. It's a new interesting build for Witch Doctor. Uh, no, but Witch Doctor in general is pretty fun, I think. Okay, power, speed, and purple circle. I do the fist that I haven't said as use bombardment scale. I think they do it just to have an extra cooldown for the helm shot. And maybe it doesn't even have an animation. Or a very short one, and it's just like, you know, not... It doesn't like interfere with anything, you know, it's not like shield glare that actually stuns enemies and stuff. You want to have the supports do that. Hmm. 
UE chest. I have to be able to get my ancient puzzle ring. Ah uh, no. I just I just tried to gamble rings a little bit when I had like most of my gear complete. And then after like seven or eight puzzle rings or so I got an ancient. I mean if you're really desperate you could try to reforge it a bit, but I think that's a bit of a waste. You should just wait for it to drop. It will drop. Which dagger am I looking for? I'm looking for a Salmonian knife, the barber. So I can farm with Spear Barrage. I have like the entire build, but I don't have the, the most important item. And that item alone will allow me to like jump on a three or four torment doubles. So <laughs> it's pretty important if I go visions. Am I done with D4? Yes, for the next two days. I'm so done. Maskinator did 149 on Witch Doctor. I wasn't trying to race Baskinator. He's uh, on Sofco, right? Is he actually doing it with Eric here? Oh, he's doing it with Somi Bears. Damn, son. That's cool. Yeah, maybe I'll push on a 50 zombie bears as well. Because I really like the build. Is he doing Wall of Zombies? No, he's doing Communion Spirits at Piranada. Interesting. I wonder how long the boss code is. <laughs> Another 50. If he doesn't get, like, Veracity. Wait, is, he, is he playing Endless Walk? Or? No, he's playing Squirts. Probably not much value in the squads there. Into these massive pulls. Kinda interesting. I think I'm gonna try this with um all of zombies though if I go zombie bears. Yo. Swam back, thanks for that point. I really like Sony Bears too, I wanna play it. That looks nice. I guess they're gonna have like 1500 Paragons or so. He's already doing like 149 there, like 1200, 1300. It should be good. So I want to augment two sets on a Witch Doctor, I suppose. And I think we can. Well, because we farm the Soul Shards a little bit. And salvage. Not ready yet. I must wait longer. This is playtime. 
Where they are. It's been going ham as well. This was... Oh, this was just now, actually. He's pushing to 150 right now. Okay. Yeah, so he's gonna do it very soon. Is he this is he like the second class to do it? Wait a minute. Barb? No. Okay, Crusader has done it. Ten minutes. No DH here. No monk. No necro. Yeah, okay, so only Crusader on softcore. On hardcore. I don't expect much here. But normal. Okay, here's a group guy. Here's a DH. I oh, use Shadow Fader, it's cool. Shitty Anguish. Wait, what the fuck is this? He played Guardians. Oh. Wait. Oh, he played Guardians, Crimson, and no COE, I see. Interesting. Yeah, this Paragon is probably okay. This guy's playing to a ghoul. The Shot of Haters. Shouldn't be that hard to do 150, I think, with the soul shots. Okay, I guess season hardcore is like really om omega lol. Azugi. Four minutes. Oh. Wait, Rathman, really? Ten minutes? What the fuck? That was interesting. That's surprisingly good. There's very little cooldown and no air damage. Playing a very tanky version, I guess, of Sliver of Terror, no Essence of Anguish, and Esoteric. This is like an Omega tank setup. And Guardian. Yeah. Okay, I can see that work out. As long as you get somehow 100 kills, you can always like finish off Elites and boss, the boss and stuff. I guess you have enough damage. It's pretty nice. 1000 strength. Mm-hmm. Also played 30 hours. Hello, Goblin Rat. You gotta stop with hurting of T2 is a while. <laughs> Hello, Rel. Like I gotta say, this uh, Rafma is uh, surprisingly strong. I wonder if just, uh, it just scales so well with the Ring of Fire. Oh, we found we found it. Oh shit! Okay, let's get our gems. Finally, man. And the thing is, I didn't even get a new transmog. Apparently, apparently, I found the barber at some point on my DH. <laughs> shit, <laughs> and I didn't save it.
Ah, okay. Well, let's clean this out here. Over here, let's take this as well. I did get a new transmark. Okay, never mind. So I did not accidentally. Okay, that's that's actually calms my nerves a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, by the way. Okay, should we try to go straight into T16? Uh, well, now do you want to cube the barber? I think for T16 we want to wear it. And then go in GM or something, right? In GM is probably the play or Shukrani. So grave injustice. Let's do this. Maybe he's gonna roll this to poison damage. Actually, it's makes the primal. Fuck it. You're gonna get a few primals, right? Tom? Yeah, we, we have a few primal ashes. It's gonna make this a primal. Looks really cool, actually, with the red background and uh, the red glow. So you make this a poison damage, right? Yes. Nah, there is pestilence. But you don't really have that all the time, I guess. Get some cold damage here. Come on. I'm out of air crystals. Alright. Alright. Let's get this thing. Okay, we should start saving some of these items to potentially craft. So I'm doing something that is usually not a good idea, which is using my 150 traps to farm T16. But I'm just gonna gamble that we don't DC today. Okay, let's try T16, I guess, and see if we can do it. Maxwell looks out of date. Why is it out of date? It's updated like every five minutes or something. Uh, 
I mean, we just saw that Vasconella is pushing. And he's here, 149. He cleared out like 15 minutes ago. I'm not sure there's even any other websites these days. Okay, are we, are we killing stuff? Seems like we are killing stuff. Okay, now I need to get a Wretched's Ring. Need to keep an eye out for that one. Let me go fast. I guess I do Wretched's Ring and Emptiness. I mean, Nashville's Goblin. Okay. I think it might be a bit weak right now for the start. 4016. Yeah, I need to get a ring of emptiness very soon. Doesn't have exactly the clear like UE multi shot, unfortunately. But what can we do? Let's just get a crazy out of 50 with Shakta run. Did he just do it? Nice. 12 minutes as well, that's pretty good. Yeah, Sommy Bears is blasting. That really makes me happy. I think Sommy Bears is... It's a really cool build. Maybe my favorite even at this point on with Shakta. I also really like Spirit Barrage. I don't like how RNG heavy Spirit Barrage is though. Ah, loot, man. We're getting that somewhere. Now we get a holy point shot, by the way. Look, it's gonna be... It's gonna be physical. I use the rest of the swing. Okay, let's go. Yes. Pretty decent roll. It's funny. So many bears was a build before OS existed. Yeah, very, very long ago, yes. <laughs> like a decade ago. <laughs> People used to farm Butcher with it. You pop the Big Bad Voodoo for the mana. Then you go. Okay, this Wretched's Ring is really awful though. But it's better than this, I suppose. Speech. Let's get an emptiness and then it's fine actually. Well, we also have to do a convert set item for the season journey at some point. Okay, didn't get much else here unfortunately. Okay, we have to start collecting 
uh, take off darts because I need to make that a primal later. Mr. Schmidt, we can keep that. I don't know. I didn't get any gems. Did I not pick up any gems or did I not get any? I guess I didn't didn't get any. Uh should we maybe go guardians? Instead of this crimson stuff right now. How much we cooldown do you have? Stacked, we're gonna have like fifty-five or so. Sixty almost. No, around fifty five. So that's pretty good, I guess. I'll just leave this. My damage feels a bit low, I would have to a bit would like to have a bit more damage. But okay. We have a lot of dexterity and stuff here, yeah, this can improve a lot here really soon. Slam dance meta now, it's like the rain dance meta, it's a mana thing. I think that's what people use back in Manila. Rain Dance, go to Butcher, and you have like infinite mana for 20 seconds and you kill the Butcher. I think that's what people did. Stormy Bears. I didn't play Witch Doctor really in Vanilla. I didn't like the class too much back then, but I like it a lot these days. Keep running off Hater on your God, Speed Farmer. Anyway, you can fix that. Uh, you can run Vengeance Thief. You can run Blood Vengeance passive. Or you can run with the Yanks. So these are the options. I'm sure that was very weak in vanilla. And it depends on which stage of vanilla, I guess. Like in patch 1.0, when the game came out, it was really good on hardcore. A lot of people were playing hardcore Witch Doctor because they had the Spirit Vessel. It's the only class which he did. And, uh, I mean, also, like, the Zombie Bear stuff was very really strong. The Fire Bat stuff was very really strong at some points. And I don't know when which patch that was. Like, late vanilla, people were playing Fire Bats and farm Vault of the Assassin. And that was really strong. Hmm, seems like I'm tank enough. Maybe we're gonna cube Frostburn. Wait, does Frostburn have to double dip? I think it does, right? But only for Phantasms. Zero CD, which sacrifice. Yeah, I'm not sure at what point that was. I remember season one, in non season, people played the uh, Zero Dog. People were selling items for hundreds of dollars on eBay. But the Zero Dog, but legacy items from Vanilla. Guys, yeah. I think spare rush or which shock there. Yeah, I mean for T16 is really nice build, I think. Although we are a bit too weak right now. But that will not last. They're gonna be fine soon. I 
My little good pants. Let's throw this in there. I guess maybe we're gonna go for a Mulugo push. Let's see. Still no gems. Should have been a chicken room for fetishes so we can have a chicken army. I mean, you kind of do that though, right? You, con you convert your fetishes into chickens when you press the button. Okay, Frostburn. I think I'll try Frostburn in the cube. Found hammer jammers. Where's that frost burn? Let's see how that goes. Of Garg is a favorite build. I'm glad to hear that. There's one guy who hopefully read the Maxwell Guide that I wrote. <laughs> I remember Held of Garg, like some seasons ago, we had that meeting and I was like, guys, what about Gargs? Someone needs to make a guide. The Endor was never like the meta ever since like leaderboards came out for Helltooth. Well, it was like relatively close to zombie bears, I think, right? I wonder if someone gonna do an account of 50 of Gargs this season. That'd be funny. This would be the season for it, I guess. Tracks of lies and everything. Old build was immortal chicken. What is immortal chicken? Seems like we're fine with toughness. Gonna keep the frostburn for now, just to like boost my damage a bit. Did I play Asheron's Call? No, I don't know it. What is that? Uh, 
I draw some damage here. It's gonna go like all in on damage, I guess, for now. Let's see where we start struggling. Fuck. Why do you have like so much random stuff in here, by the way? You just sort out some of this. Also, you have like normal puzzle rings. Random crumbs belt. Random essence of diamond. Okay. Best MMO ever made. When did I come out? I didn't know it. I mean, I'm not like a big MMO guy. I played WoW, and that was it basically. I, tr I tried Guild Wars One and Two a little bit, but outside of WoW, I have not played other game and other MMOs. That being said, though, WoW is still the game I've played the most in my life. So there's that, I guess. But I was never interested in other MMOs outside of WoW. That's a big Horn of Vision, Scrubs. Nothing max over cover Gargantium builds. Yeah, we have Held of Gark. I made that build guide some some seasons ago. It's time for a new game. Maybe we can also go for less vitality, get a bit more dam that way. Okay, I did have 50. BH. Oh yeah. Mats finally. Not ready yet.
Let's see how much we get. We have basically nothing. Didn't uh, didn't have a second helm now to swap for gems, but it's okay. Oh, this was only one floor. That's funny. Not ready yet. There was a real goblin in there too. I am returning to town. Yo, it's like two, two free k of each. Actually, look at that. That's actually so much mods. That's nice. That's crazy, actually. So the equivalent of like five, six bounty runs, I think. Like each bounty run, like all acts, is like around a thousand combined mats or so. A bit more. Cat. Ah, Ring of Antennas. Uh well I'm thinking I'm doing it. Do bring a decent any free like D4 for Barb? No. <laughs> Don't bring us not really used for anything. Okay, carnival, that's a safe one. Very nice. Why is the free crashing so much this season? I don't have any issues with crashes. I had like one one time when my game just closed. That happens sometimes when season starts when it's off server load. But outside of that I didn't have any issues. Last time Dooming was used in the field was in Vanilla for PK barbs. Wait, did they have any special effect for that? And Dooming I was still used on like LOD, Fawns, Crusader for a while and stuff, but I'm not sure if that's still used these days. I think for farming you just go in Geom and... I think for pushing you go like Johanna's Argument. So I'm not sure if that is actually still an item. Great. Big loot. Do you like the 3 or the 4 better at the moment? I like the 4 a lot more generally. But I'm playing the new season in the 3. It's fun as well. It just doesn't have much longevity. Would be more casual fun build to play in Barb or the Age. I don't know, they can both be fun. I think the Age is generally the most popular class, and with God Demon Hunter being the most popular build. But I mean, Barb is also cool. And especially now that it balances out a lot of the builds. There's like more options. I see people playing like all kinds of stuff on all classes, that's kind of cool. Definitely very refreshing, I think, to see like, you know, old classes playing like, you know, some, some old school builds right now. To bring us a good replacement for pick sticker. Yeah. If not going Novart, you can use Doombringer if you don't have a pick sticker on the second best version of a mediocre set. This is why you use Doomringer, guys. On the most... on the least popular class. 
Okay, actually, is Crusader or Witch Doctor less popular? Let's see. I guess Crusader has gotten a bit of a boost from the Fist of Heavens changes. There's slightly more Crusaders on solo season. What about normal season? Yeah, it seems like Witch Doctor is at least popular. But not by too much. <laughs> seems relatively close. I think if it wasn't for Fist of the Heavens, there would be less Crusaders than Witch Doctors. What is a Bis Crusader build? Uh, push, that's Arcan Condemn. Farming, that's Fist of the Heavens. What's the best though? The solo Rainbow Goblin Farming. Uh, there's a Rainbow and Goblin Farming Guide on Max for all with like all the different zones and everything you need to know. So ch check that out. I've never done that, so I, I don't know it by heart, like which zones you want to farm. So five hundred million toughness actually. You hope the health of Gargs is going to be great. I mean, as far as I know, uh, health of Gargs is only like a few GRs behind health of zombie bears. I don't think it's a huge difference, if I'm not mistaken. And Health of Zombie Bears has just cleared 150, so... What would be the reason to play the 3 instead of the 4 right now? Uh, World first and stuff? I'm actually running Spirit Vessel. Yeah, we are. I expected a good one shot though. Can you horrify a boss? I'm not sure if we can like fear a boss. Shanker Belt would be recommended for group play. Uh, people use Rafa as a boss killer, and you can also use uh, Inari as Nova as a trash killer. And in speedruns, you can play as a poor necro. I don't need to be Master Helm.
Actually, we don't really have to loot all these bounty mats anymore, right? I have like a thousand. There's no way I'm going to use them. Although, if you farm enough GRs... Okay, if you farm enough GRs, you would actually get to a point where Forgotten Souls kind of catch up, it seems. Big inner balance. I don't think I'm going to do a monk though, do I? What would be my third class if I make a third class? Not sure what I would do. Uh, Seder. I'm not sure if I want to do Seder. That was nice. Let's see. Visions versus Nephilim Rifts. Uh, Nephilim Rifts for keys, for sure. So, you Monk with NGM, the fastest monk this season. Yeah, I can do NGM or you can do. Um, the inner. Raymond combo. I think that's usually what you want to do these days. Because they buffed Raymond and it, the dashing strike costs nearly nothing now. You can just like infinitely dash all the time without NGM. Yeah, it's very easy to play that now and you don't need like much gear anymore and stuff. It used to be like very, very costly. And now it's very easy. Doing 3 minutes, 110 of Seda, still missing stuff. Sounds good. Seda's good, yeah. In Fallman, people are playing uh, Zeta, actually. It's like the new god, uh, the new red runs, apparently. Wait, are they doing this with C. Uh, Necro? Or Barb? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Double Zeta. Are they straight out just going Fist of the Heavens on our 50s? Yes, man, look at that shit. That's funny. This is the age. And Necro. Whoa. That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, can we see one of the actual speedruns? Oh, it's like a one minute clear here. It's a Z Necro, I guess, as well. Okay. It's funny. Up back, Granade. 2.6, okay. Man, this this probably means that they're probably gonna do like just double Crusader 150. L like, you know, in a few thousand paragons from now, on a good run, there's gonna be like one minute clear on 150. You know, get like a power pile in somewhere at the start and, and go ham. <laughs> That's gonna be the form and push meta, guys. <laughs> oh god. They did a 43 seconds, 128. Let's go. Yeah. I wonder how the gods, the ages fare at all. It should be pretty close, and Impale as well. Should be pretty good. This is Zunimasa Ring. We need Zunimasa Ring, right? It's Rock, Zunimasa, and COE, I think. And then Zunimasa Offhand, that's two. Boots, chest, gloves, then all guild, all guild, carnival, witching hour. Data getting nerfed again soon? I don't think so. They're not doing anything more. There's no more balancing. We 
The game has reached perfection. It's in the ultimate state. No more updates needed. People horse. And we found one finally. Well, it took me like everything, man. Holy. So unlucky with that thing. Will the other enjoy? I could argue with that one. Yeah, feels bad. Man, they should have buffed the. Uh, it's one of the Liana weapons. Liana is playable in T16. Yeah, I mean, Liana is also going to push 150. It's just that you have to do this with Shenlong, and it will is much more fun when you don't play Shenlong, I think. They should have just removed Shenlong from the meta, for Liana at least. We have Inners of Guardian set. What power do I have stop to all goats? Inners of Guardian. Ah, I mean, I don't know, but usually you stop at like 2k or so. Thank you, Larry. Was that primal? No. It was fake primal. Yeah, these are just uh, beams from the soul shards. That's kind of weird, I made them red. Yeah, I like the visual of Mundunago. It looks amazing, man. I gotta say, while doing visions, I really miss getting blood shards. You know, the blood shards are kind of nice with like the the double legendaries now, and you know, it allows you to actually like target certain things a little bit. And then like, huh, I really want to get them. Yeah, it gives me a reason to actually go and rift at some point, I guess. But for now, he's gonna get some loot here.
I suppose the way Guardian of Inner set. I think there are setups with Inner Guardian. I'm not 100% sure though, like what exactly. Maybe for like GR speeds. If you don't go with Raymond. But you farm like water, ally speeds, and. Yeah, that, that might be a way I can do Guardian. Boy. Morning off, Fred. Mask of Sharon, we need to us. Big explosion is big dopamine. And kind of tempted to do 150 push with Mundunigo as well. With Ring of Fire. Like, just walk in, do like some pop, kill some small stuff, get a Ring of Fire, everything melts. It's actually a really good synergy with Mundunigo. A lot of people push in 25, season 25 here, yeah, let's see. What's this, uh, Zuni? Here's Zuni. Six minutes at 8k Paragons. So, like, something a bit lower. He's at 2.6k. Fuck. Just all spiders. With Ring of Fire, interesting. So for tax bit and crit to one AK. Did a potato push here. Non ancient helm. <laughs> okay. Non ancient boots. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Woody Gear sighted. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did there. I think I only played like Wish Actor for like a day or something, and then I did like some mini push. Apparently, I was Mundunungo rank 2 on Hardcore though. <laughs> did I eat up beating the Asians for Hardcore SF? Yeah, I did. That was the first, including Asia. Asia be slacking. Yeah, it's actually a Sedge. I mean, China D3 doesn't exist anymore, so maybe there would be something there, but yeah, Korea, I don't know.
What reasons do we play? I don't know you. I mean, and NA is like uh, in nine hours behind EU. So there's that. And also NA is usually a bit more casual in D3. But yeah, these days it's kind of like RNG. Like, so many of the, the top blasters are not really trying too much. I need to get a witching hour at some point. I think they actually have a witching hour somewhere, right? So. I remember finding an ancient witching hour, but I guess I didn't keep it. Maybe I have to keep one for Zunimasa later. More stab tabs when I think D3 are fine. You're in Australia. Yeah, if you're in Australia, I guess you're playing on NA realm. So uh, NA starts the latest, and of course, like on day two of the season or something, then having a nine hour difference matters a little bit. And yeah, I think on NA in general, there's not that many people that really try hard. Like NA has been like traditionally less competitive on the high ends. D3. Eggman's group is over 2k right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I saw the uh, um, guys here at a 2.6. And why can't we have multi shot on a witch doctor? I can wear bows. Why not I kind of go multi shot witch doctor for this? That'll be great. Because I prefer to pretend that Asset Cloud doesn't exist. <laughs> oh man. Ancient Shukrani. Kind of bad one though. Do we care about Shukrani? I don't think so, right? I wonder if I have all this attack speed I'm gonna have, if I could actually wear something like Bell of Transcendence. It's the same as a passive, right? And we need a passive anyway. So maybe it's gonna go for a different passive and wear this belt. Instead of Witching Hour. And play Zuni that way. Kind of weird strat, but... Maybe it'll work out.
It's not the same? Really? Ah, oh, shit. I thought it got exactly the same. I thought it had the same cap and everything. I think it's just like the proc is different. Like, I think it's much easier to proc the passive and get the fetishes from there. Ah, uh, yeah, also the mana spender. Okay, I think that's the main reason, because you actually don't really spend mana, you only have Piranado, right? So now comes the interesting question. Am I going to play Zuni Master without Grave Injustice? So I can benefit from Shadow of, uh, from Sliver of Terror more easily. Now we're talking real struts. Can set pieces drop in visions, yes. Can't move characters on two regions. No, we can't. They're separate. I strike at your heart. Not ready yet. Nice little circle. What was like D2R can play a different region? Yeah, I don't know. They have like different server technology. Like Diablo 3 is like ancient technology. You just locked into a region, they have like their servers, and that's it. When D4 is even better, you can just. You know, play with anyone, anywhere. That's like how it should be. Going to play in Iris Nova? Nope. No necroticism. I've done so much Necro in the last seasons. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, you still have different battle net friend list, I think. Like, if I log into Asia on the NA, I think I still have, like, the in-game, like, the old legacy friend system and the friendless there. It was about time. Great. <laughs> that was my vision. After going for like four maps. I was like, where's the portal? Double primer unlocked, good luck.
Here's the first Necro in E3. How are you liking it, Patton? What keeps dropping money? This is the boon of the Horder, it's a legendary gem. Texters. Yeah, well, thanks, Filmic. I have no idea about any of what he's just said, though. <laughs> so I uh, hope you. Yeah, seems like you, you got had a good time, so that's good. When legendary German director Wim Wenders, I never heard of him. To be fair, I'm not really watching much stuff. Are there any good beach destinations in Germany? Uh, do you understand where Germany is located on the world map? I mean, in an alternate reality? Maybe. But we kind of lost the war, so... I mean, there's the North Sea and the Baltic Sea, but, I mean... <laughs> I wouldn't really call this like beach, <laughs> like you know, to go and, and swim and. I mean, some people do that actually, but yeah, it's cold, you know. It's someone asked that. Yeah, someone asked that on Twitch then. <laughs> The beach destinations in Germany. Darklight is a one-hand flare. That is correct. I told you. What are you gonna do? Lots of Germans come to Bulgaria for the beach. Well, here I am. The beach is right there. How many levels of Darkening of Tristan event? Oh, well, you're almost there. It's funny that you're asking level 14. It's Cuba Barber. So far, the loot is not very impressive, though. You 
Tyler. I'm getting much on a bit too much now. I want to get my St. Archie's back in here, I think. Although I think it didn't have a Kumba. It's funny how like one single trash mob drops two legendaries in visions like in the later stages. Weird. I farm visions and weeping hollow and festering woods and cathedral. I go to cathedral as well. Need more time. Vision farm material is pretty much the same as T16. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. You do the same builds and stuff. I guess in this season in particular, you know, there's like the stain of sin that we have in some T16 builds for the rifts. So you get the extra globe there, which doesn't help you in visions. But yeah, outside of that, I mean, I wouldn't really change the builds or something. You just go a T16 build for visions. Prefer flat damage or main stat and amulet? Yeah, usually main stat. Flat damage would only be better if it's like if you're like really high paragon. If you're like 3k plus, then maybe somewhere at that point average damage is better. But if, free, if you're 3k paragon, you will have an amulet that has crit crit element anyway. And then this question kind of becomes obsolete. So it's basically always main stat and then uh, elemental. Yeah, Temple of the Firstborn is also good for visions. Also, the Cursed Realm of Fate. In Act. Which, which one is this? Yeah. Yeah, Realm of Fate. This one's pretty decent. So, if you want to stay in the same game for longer, then you can do that. But I just regame after, like, Act 1 stuff. Build this Mundunugu. Spirit Brush. Need to 110 and some primers to finish the altar. Uh, I mean, Mundungo has trouble killing the boss fast in the higher tiers. So, speed farming 110 to Mundungo will probably feel kind of bad on the boss fight. Although, uh, maybe it's fine. I'd probably just go with zombie bears for those tiers. This is solo hero, yes. Darts are fine. Yeah, darts is also okay. LD darts in particular, I guess. Because you don't need to like, constantly hit everything with a mana spender first. It's also an option.
Do I recommend doing campaign for leveling? No. Campaign is useless for like any kind of efficiency. There's no nothing to earn there. Actually, I should have used the Lacumba, but... My is true. F, I knew this would be the last one. Thank you, Kilamaki. What's the plan for this? Does it help with my gear? Yeah, it does. I mean, Visions is very good. You see, like, I get lots of loot here. Did I save challenge with cash? Yes, I did. Like, if you play more than, like, 10 hours or so, in the first three days or four days of the season, you should definitely save to cash. Only if you're like an ultra casual, you should use it, I think. Or if you really don't care and you want to have like an easy time, 1 to 70, then sure, but it feels bad getting stuck on that note, I think. So, and in my case, I just finished the altar on the way and I had the double primus unlocked, everything by the time I did 150 already, so. Feels good to have it done, and now I can farm and get double primus. What do you do with all the bounty mats? Well, you let them rot. I mean, the thing is that, uh, you know, without Paragon Caps, you actually want to... Like, the the real way to play the game would be to like, go and do Paragon Grind again. So you do Nephilim Rifts, and then Greater Rifts, and then Nephilim Rifts, and Greater Rifts. And then you just get the gear while doing that. Missions is just there for casuals like me to speed up the gear grind and have Peanut Paragon instead. I could probably get gear, I don't know, maybe let's say twice as fast or so from Missions. How to say exactly, actually. Maybe it's actually not that much faster. How many souls per hour can I get from visions? Checks hours a game, yeah. It's just an easy way to get a lot of gear. But ultimately, you know, no one who's actually serious about leaderboards would do this. That's what I'm saying. You go grind paragons again. Nephilim Rifts, Skirt Rifts, Nephilim Rifts, Skirt Rifts. No visions. You only do visions a little bit to get the mats for bounties. And as long as you have enough bounty mats to use the Forgotten Souls, you're good. Look how much I'm running around just trying to get like uh, vision to spawn sometimes. It's bad. Hey, Monka. Oh, good night, Rich. That's about away. Is 
Does it matter if you craft a single Hellfire neck or a stack? You can do it one by one if you want. Doesn't matter for anything. I did one run on T16, crafted four amulets. First one was ancient, easy club. <laughs> Playing Impel Demon under speed, can you continue to build a 150? I mean, Impel can do 150 relatively soon, but not as early as the Spike Trap. Probably need like a few thousand paragons to have like a realistic shot, shot I think. 2 3k or so and then some good ring of fire gameplay. Should probably do it. Envious blade. It's probably not worth it I think. You have enough crit chance already as a DH. And with the uh, on-death explosion, I mean, most of the time it's the crits that produce the on-death explosions, okay. But who knows, maybe it's good. Man, all this, yeah, I ran around for like five minutes to get a one-floor... ...visions, man, holy. Okay, now. What's the power on cap? 20,000. Good luck. Can you even say you finished the game if you haven't even grinded 20k? I don't think so. I got a vision from the goblin, that's funny. My the divisions apparently have a 1 in 300 chance to spawn. So the 300 is somewhat accurate, but you don't need a streak or something. You just need to kill on average 300 monsters. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's 1 in 100 or 1 in 300. Someone told me 1 in 300. And honestly, I can't really tell. Sometimes I get lucky and get them like right away, sometimes I don't and run around for 5 minutes. Get like a thousand monsters, so I don't know. Explosive cliff or oh, rogue is not working with exposure. You mean the increased radius for the grenades or what? Yeah, it's bugged. Actually, bug reported that some weeks ago. That is some testing or not.
Should I do any spike traps? You need to wait for the chain to finish before you place your new traps? Uh, no. You can do them right away. Just start popping. Like, you can do that, you know, five right clicks, one left click, five right clicks, one left click or so, all the time, and it works. Pretty much every set can clear 150 this season. Yeah, every set will clear 150. Probably within the first month of the season or so, I'd say. We don't need like outrageous Paragon like in season 28 or so, I think. Like Altar in a nerfed version plus Soul Shards is better than the unnerfed Altar, I'd say. And in season 28, every set did it. So maybe by like 5, 6, 7k Paragon or so, everything will clear 150. And also now they buffed like some shitty sets like Pestilence. You know, Pestilence got a 10 tier buff. It has a permanent power pile, basically. Compared to before, so... You get 4 Primus for 1 GR. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pestilence was at 120. Well, it was at 120 because no one bothered to push it properly. But if you actually push it properly, then, you know, it was like a, I don't know, what, 140 build or so. Or 135. And now you have Soul Shards, you have Altar, you have a 10 tier above. I mean, 150 Pestilence is not going to be that crazy. It's also It says double toughness and quadruple damage now or something. Like, it's a pretty big buff. Can Wish Doctor do 150 in normal mode? You mean non season? I mean, yeah. Non season, you are much weaker, but with enough paragons, a lot of things are possible. Well, that 150 even lighter than Pestilence. Yeah, did they, did they buff Roland? They didn't buff Roland, right? They only buffed the Denial Shields. Or did they buff Roland? I'm not sure. Love the Pestilence playstyle, doesn't feel good to the cooldowns. I mean, this is how Pestilence works, though. It was always based on the cooldowns, no? Yeah, I was, like, advocating to, like, to remove the Devour mechanic from Pestilence and make it, like, some some different, like, auto-lancing, you know, like a permanent auto-lancing feature or so that is maybe amplified whenever Land of the Dead is up or something like that. I think that could have been cool for Pestilence set. And then just remove the Devour. Like, for example, imagine if Pestilence would just, like, permanently shoot, let's say, three lances per second, and then when you press land, it's, like, 15 lances per second or so. Plus whatever you can cast manually.
Gold can do 150, yeah. Everything can do 150, I guess. Welcome to the future. My loot is really poor. It's crazy. No ancients whatsoever. I think of the difference between PC and console Firebird. Yeah, it's, it's Firebird. I guess now it's Meteor Nerves. I guess Firebird is back to Twister, right? I think it was also Meteor, but now it's probably Twister again on console, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, this is how it is, but I guess it's probably not much more powerful than our builds. Is it the best? Everything to 150. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, with high enough Paragon and good gameplay and lots of fishing, yes. I mean, the Vega builds will still struggle to, like, you know, do it. But, like, all the S tier builds and A tier builds, which is like half the builds in the game now, they will do a 150, you know, probably in the next week or something. So, there's a lot of builds that will do it easily, and then there's like some builds that will struggle a bit where I need to actually try really hard. But, yeah, I mean, every single leaderboard is gonna have 150. Probably in within the first month, that's my prediction. Unless there's like, like no one really trying, you know, it could happen that no one actually tries, you know, stuff like Pessidence or whatever, or LOD, Rapid Fire, you know, these kind of bullshit builds that no one likes. Like, you know, maybe that won't happen, but it could happen. If someone wants to. The Crafter Primal, it is Mantis in the Primordial Dust, yes. Ancient puzzle. Hmm, oh, Dunagur. Almost Dunagur. Also, Mats. I'm getting better. Search card all girl stuff for Zuni. <coughs> oh my god. I'm only gonna get 40 or something, at least. Can we?
needs more time. Well, that's a start, I guess. Usable. Now, so we must have pencils the one item we don't need on the set. Because we need to write death diggers, but whatever. Okay, I'm with the primal black phone boots. <laughs> no, plus 35 ashes, I guess. Got grandfather and Andarius first day, now I just need a shaka. Yeah, you have to go for Darkening of Twist on my event. I guess if I can find it. Good luck. Can't wait to see that black for another 50 clear. Yeah, I was c considering, like, how could we do 150 black fawn with full black fawn set and then some other set that would go with it? I guess Roland could. Yeah, I mean, with a kind of paragon, it might be possible to do it as Roland. Because Roland 4 piece already has a big multiplier. And then you go Black Fawn 4 piece, but Roland is also not that strong, so it will be hard. Game time, I guess. My vision's better for souls and GR speeds. Uh, a little bit, I think. I'm gonna farm visions for a while, and then later we're gonna go some T16 and GRs. Yeah, 560 keys though. I don't really need a lot of keys, I think, to do a push with this. So I don't think you need to find that many keys unless you want to go speed jars a lot. I wonder how fast I can go with zombie bears. In speed jars. I probably can't do 90 second clears, but maybe 2 minute clears. I'm gonna start collecting some items for some bears, even if it's not ancient, and see what it can do. Blue, I just only push. <laughs> yeah, I won't go very far with that. Items matter a lot more in Diablo 3 than they do in Diablo 4. We got a raid from Jubar. Hello. So Brazilian viewers coming in here. Hello. How's it going? Oh, 
Only found the GR keys and T16 rifts. Visions don't give much keys. You get a little bit there, but very slow. Campfire is on first day, not on Tuesday. There's something on Tuesday, I don't know what exactly. And campfire on first day. How was your stream? Chuba. Thank you. <laughs> Next time on 50 today. Yeah, the plan would be to do a Zunimasa later on a 50. Depends on how the gear will go, but I mean, it's 11 a.m. now. I've been streaming for four hours. My gear is looking poor. I hope it's going to improve a bit over the next hours. I think I have most of the pushing prepared, right? I don't need to unlock tiers anymore. I can go straight to 150 if I want. So that saves some time as well for pushing. We have brain for trap levels. I think it's some good, I don't know, okay. Ah, good luck. Thank you, Jubam. Whole one paragon. Not ready yet. Awareness of flying dragon in cube for Raymond in a. I'd say flying dragon. If it procs, you get double damage and it procs relatively easily. And it works on everything. Both, both is fine though, so. And this one echoes that just hit 70 to get pestilence for Hadrix. Yeah, my tip is ignore Hadrix. Just go LOD. Like, would use whatever you have, like Calls Explosion or Rats, uh, like um, Mages or Nova. I guess ultimately go with Nova and just farm LOD Nova. It should probably be uh, just the most consistent. Season is pushing is better or worse when it goes to fishing. I mean, there's definitely potential to fish like a crazy amount due to the Ring of Fire stuff. But late season, or like, you know, once they actually play like strong builds, Ring of Fire is not even played anymore at some point, and then it's fine. But yeah, Ring of Fire definitely offers a lot of fishing potential. But since they made the Oryx Dreams four times more likely to appear, you can just straight up, you know, in no 25 keys is one Oryx, so... It's very easy to get an Oryx or two and just, you know, just push that, and sometimes you get some other routes in between that I can try. Also, you get plus one glow from Angry Elite Girl now, so you have much more one floor maps now. So you don't actually need to, like, fish for good follow-ups when you have, like, a good Fields of Misery, for example. You just do one floor.
How to change Russia what's help from Ladnin's gift? Uh, they don't. Feel the misery of festering best map. For visions? Yeah, I do feel the misery sometimes. Festering is the best, I think, though. I can go there right now. What class back is the easiest one in 50? Uh, currently... I'd probably suggest Nova, Necro, Inarius. It's a bit weaker than some of the other top builds, but it's very easy. Yep, new pixel. Thank you. Appreciate it from us. Which one is like an easy... Maybe LOD Hoda. LOD Hoda is a good candidate, this thing, for 150s as well. It's relatively easy. Thank you. Natalia, I wouldn't recommend. It's very difficult. It's strong, but difficult. And then there's like a Khan Crusader. I also wouldn't really recommend that. Even though it's strong. There's like Rathma, but it's also difficult. Yeah, Monk, I would not suggest at all. Maybe Tempest Rush. If you're willing to grind a little bit, Tempest Rush is a pretty simple build. And relatively powerful. Then there's LOD Meteor. I guess you can play that. Like, like the Bazooka playstyle. I believe Blatter Blade got nerfed as hell. Yeah, it was pretty necessary though. Nova was pretty powerful. And that actually balanced out Necro quite a bit better now. So it's not like so obscenely powerful. I think it was a good move. Also makes it so that your boss kills are a lot better than before. Because you go lower tiers. Or like your AE damage doesn't isn't as powerful compared to the single target damage basically. So the boss damage feels better. I'm just stolen. My thoughts on Stannis Sin was the essence of anguish for Nova. Why would you do that? I did 150 with Natalia. Okay, Carrington. How's your here, Marauders? Yeah, Marauders got nerfed a little bit unexpectedly. But it's still pretty strong. You can do 150 with Marauder if you want to farm a bit. Yui is a bit weaker than that. But very nice for farming too. Morning Fregal. What is my favorite set or build to push with? 
Probably my all-time favorite is multi shots. And then maybe Fan of Nice. It's chicken viable. I think some people are still pushing chicken, but I nerfed chicken a bit. And do I start push? Uh, in many hours from now. Looks like a midnight angle. I want to do Zuni, Hana 50, and then probably some zombie bears as well. Have Lightman, but not a new style. Yeah, it's kind of sad that they kept the shitty, like, uh, pet playstyle in Red for Light. Would have been cool to remove the pet stuff. They even changed one of the weapons, you know, they didn't just like, you know, try to change the number on a set or something. They actually changed how Wave of Light functions, but they kept the pet blaster sedge. Light is pretty strong, the shards. Yeah, I mean, it got a pretty heavy nerf, but it's, it's gonna be powerful anyway. I think we still have an S tier, despite nerf. That's funny.
150 in two days. Uh, no, in one. Go about getting set pages. And you have to collect the four sets of your class that have a set tension. So, all but the newest sets. And then you go to the Oryx Manor up in the top left. There's a set dungeon tome. And then you connect, and then you equip the set, click the thing, and repeat. I did it on Demon Hunter Ivan. <clears throat> screams are useless now in hardcore. Nah, screams are. I mean, this has nothing to do with hardcore. Screams are just useless this season because of soul shards. Yes, you don't really have to do screams at all. I mean, you can still do them to get extra augments and extra loot and stuff. But I think anything besides the Marauder Dimanta probably is just too slow for this to be worth it. Not farming standard maps, they're farming visions. Ah, scream is useless, uh, because you can uh, use your soul shards as augments. So, you usually get enough soul shards to not need screams for anything this season. Yeah, soul shards are equal to the whisper. They're the original whisper. <laughs> soul shards came before whispers, and then everyone liked it so much, they made whispers.
You can aggressively augment those soul shards. Yeah, actually, I mean, it's also so easy to get more, right? In case you earn out, just go and farm Butcher and Leoric and Darkening. So maybe I'm gonna augment my Shadow set and go ham. Man, I keep getting good ancient Eric here, sorry. Hey, Pancake. How are you? Console inventory bigger than PC. I think in console you don't have a stash, right? So you have like only inventory. And it's bigger. The real wrong is just salvage them. Oh yeah, as we said, like it's not too bad. If you if you need more augments, you can easily get them. Farm the Darkening of Tristram, Butcher, and the Rorik. Then level two and level three, or level two and wait, is it two and three or is it like level two and a side area? I think it's two and a side area, right? He salvaged them all. <laughs> yeah, don't salvage your upgraded soul shots, guys. You can use them as all rent. I'll step that in. Season 29 speed farming guide for Death Nova isn't legit anymore. Girls have move and speed cap. Uh. What do you mean exactly? What changed because of movement speed? Make LD Archer Phalanx viable. <laughs> Actually, I think I did play exactly that build in. Season 25 for the soul shards <laughs> for the memes. But I mean, it's a shit build, so. You... Ah, this is a usable Zunimasa, I suppose.
It's the theme of the season. It's called 150 for everyone. Keep the bear offhand. Oh, did I have one? Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. F. Your proc wizard plan. What is that? Speech hours of visions better for primals. Uh, visions. All proc legendaries and death wish on LOD. Oh my god. I mean the only one that will actually do something is Mana Teal. And everything else is gonna be like a meme compared to that. Unless you ac actively don't play static discharge. For some reason. No Manald? Okay. Okay. Need more time. Yes, okay. There's a reality where Thorns Veers is stronger than Rhyme Hard Veers. And I played both. <laughs> oh man. That is indeed funny and cursed. Yeah, I mean, that's just. Goes to show how much Reimhardt sucks, I guess. Such a shitty item. Are we done already? Can you... wait... When you kill something with Fawn's damage, does it explode from the Anguish Shard? Is that how it works? How's the shard work of frailty? Ah, oh, good question. I assume just like the hit that triggers the frailty will do that explosion. 
Or maybe this doesn't trigger at all. That would be kind of shit. But I have not heard anything like that, so I'm pretty sure it just works normally as you would expect. Where's the Demon Hunter stream? Uh, season 31, I guess. Seven times is unlucky pattern. You're gonna get it. You can power farm the soul shards from Darkening of Tristan. Kill the butcher and the Auric. like a fun build setup gear. So what are you triggering actually? So I guess Death Watch Mantle, Firewalkers, but I guess that's crit, yeah, crit that's also boosted I guess. What else? That's like the rocket chest. Yeah, Inaria's Necro should probably be the easiest to do 150. But I was still attack even if I had a weapon, Pancake. So they can still remove your sharpshooter. I'm killing all these monsters because they're evil. I need to purge. I strike at your heart. And every time I turn my back and come back, the monsters are back again. So I have to destroy them again. Mushroom. If you kill Earth, it stops them all. Ah, that's how it works. I have mind. Here we go. Great. Where's the guy? Oh my god. What? I can't find him. Oh, here. We got him. Why are they not making any PTR for D4? Well, it might be that they con consider it unnecessary. Or at very least not a priority when they made the game. And since they're still like, you know... Scrambling to kind of like put everything together. You know, it's just gonna be something for the future. Or maybe, you know, they just like trust their QA enough so they wouldn't need it. I mean, there's also, you know, advantages for not having PDR. You know, the launch is like much bigger and, and like more exciting and, you know, 
for the player base, you know, there's like a lot of things to discover on launch and all that stuff, right? Like PoE does it without PTR and it works fine. So. And it makes PoE leagues always exciting when they launch because you don't know anything. I think this is a pretty big draw, actually. Now, if, if the D4 team gets their shit together and actually, you know, doesn't aim to do like 200 bucks every single season, then I think it would be way better to not run PDRs, actually, because it's just more fun for the player base. I mean, it sucks for me, you know, but it's good for the players, I think. The bull shield. Oh my god, Saki. <laughs> hmm. Big boots. No, holy is farming 118, 130 in Gotti Edge Gaming. It's actually almost a Paragon. Spirit Barrage over Angry Chicken because it's better and a thousand times more enjoyable. Buy one sock with Imperial Diamond and Pants. <laughs> it's very small pants, that's why. Only one sock. Keep damaging health of stuff, man. Oof. <laughs> Hey, Snake. Morning. This is Mundunu Goose Bell Branch, which Doctor I'm playing. Fun build. How do you use the soul shards instead of Petris? If you upgrade the soul shards to free, you can use them as an augment. You can use them as an augment at any time, but they get stronger.
charge bolt build in v3. I gotta say, I had a really good time with charge bolts in uh, season 2. Uh, mission was a bit stronger. Like Blizzard in season two. Yeah, I got a nice buff as well for the new ring, right? And the glyph. I haven't played Blizzard yet, actually. I need to do that maybe next season. Maybe we're gonna go for some good old ice shards. I really liked ice shards in season one when I played it. It was fun. You have 5,000 dB and you can't use them for anything. Well, get used to it. Or farm a lot of bounties. But no one farms bounties these days. I think you're gonna have trouble finding any bounty parties. So forget about it. Most of the of Heaven's Sailor behind compared to Natalia Hunt or Nova Necro. Oof. Yeah, solo push. Fist of Heavens is not that crazy. It will do 150 without too much trouble, but I can't is definitely better. T16 public bounty game is insta. Really? Are there actually people still farming bounties? That's crazy. Who's doing that? A oh, four player? Ah. Oh. I mean, it's actually a decent chance that with enough back guns, people are gonna like. Do double Crusader on 150s. We've already seen like if there's like a three and a half minute clear on EU. Double Seder on 150. And that's with like 2k guns or something, you know? It just gives them like 8k. And uh, and a power pilot, and they're gonna do like Crusader speedrun one minute on 150. And that's gonna be <laughs> the push. Uh, yeah, I think on the lower levels, it's probably just not fast enough. And if you don't kill stuff fast with the Fist of the Heavens build, you're gonna lose your squirts. It's also kind of squishy. I'm okay, maybe not so bad with like Sliver of Terror and the supports. But yeah, it's it's kind of like works well when you kill stuff quickly. And on the other hand, you know, stuff like Nova or Natalia, they work well when you don't kill stuff very quickly. So I think, you know, at some point with high enough Paragon, it's just gonna kind of like converge and eventually visit the heavens like overtakes do we have a hell tooth nothing actually I didn't save anything yet Is that about it?
What's the point of doing it so fast? I ruined the fun. Take your time and enjoy. Well, take your time and enjoy if you want to do that, but I don't want to take my time. In fact, I don't have time. I got things to do and places to be. And those 150s ain't clearing themselves. Was that a zombie bear's offhand? Want to find more gold out there? Best T60 mil for Necro. I'll probably go Auto Lancer for that. These days. Although, yeah, for Vision that's kind of scuffed, I guess, with the cooldowns. Maybe it's just rat necro. I don't need rats. Change the Paragon cap from 800 to 220k, yes. They were like, oh man, people enjoy this Paragon cap so much. Let's double down on it and then we make it 20,000 this next season and see how they like it. How do you like the 20,000 Paragon cap, guys? <laughs> Good morning. How did you sleep? Well, okay. A pretty girl just entered the room, guys. You feel rested? No. No? It's almost noon. What did you do? I had one earlier. Mm hmm. That was very nice. I'm fine for now, I think. Maybe it's shocky. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Huh? Yeah, why? I think Chad would agree that I deserve a shocky. I didn't have one. Good morning, Chad. You? <laughs> Do you guys hear her? I'm not sure if you're too far away. I think they heard me. Yes. Okay, Chad says I deserve it. Huh? Chad has spoken. Come on, 
Well, you, do you want to have any of it? Because I ate a lot. Ah, true. Hmm. Later, I'm gonna have to rest. So now you want chucky? Choco drink or choco? Latch. What? You want a chocolate drink or a chocolate lunch? Chocolate lunch? What is that? I don't know, chocolate. No. A drink. Ah, oh, drink that. Yeah. Thank you. Why you never have water? It's just emptied. I see that. Thank you. Shouldn't you be stockpiling on drinks? Mm hmm. An energy drink? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not in a mood. <laughs> I guess he's not got any, any cooldown, right? That's pretty good gear, actually. Okay. Primal emptiness as well, damn. Nothing rolled on the offhand, holy. Okay. Oh, this will do though. Might keep the cooldown actually instead of the attack speed, the cooldown will help a little bit. Okay, slowly coming together with the hell tooth. Actually, you can just wear this thing, right? Wait, I still had fire damage on this all this time. <laughs> I never rolled cold, I just realized. Oh, shit. Okay. It is coming together very quickly, actually. That's a good offhand. Blah. I don't want to do chicken, I think. Health of chest. Yeah, we're gonna try some speed jars later. So we need health of helm and shoulder. And we should be fine, actually. You make level 3 sword shard to 125 atonement. Yes, it's the same. What push should I build is the best? Uh, Zunimasa is the best push build. But it's a very difficult build. And usually only works well at a high paragon on top of that. I'm gonna try to do 150 with Zunimasa later tonight. And yeah, I will play Helltooth as well. I'm gonna do Helltooth 150 and Zuni 150. And some speed farming of Helltooth as well. I'm gonna see how far we can actually... Like, how high can we speed farm with Helltooth? Like, two minute runs or so. Should feel pretty good. So once you have the Helltooth put together, I'm gonna try. I can get some Paragons on the way. Maybe we can get to like 1500, 1600 or so by this evening. Ah, 1600 would be nice. 1800 would be nice, actually. A few hundred more guns. Oh, primal. Amulet. Ooh. Alright. Sagul, the best necro. No. That's scenarios now. Oh, actually, rough mine, it seems. Ah, oh, shit. But I'll take it. It's usable. Health with mantle. Okay, just need health with helm now. With fiance, I need a shower so you can try to gamble it. 
Got as many helms. Great. Double primal already. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, double primal kind of comes before 150s. Oh, the upgrade soul shards. There's a consumable drop called Hellforge Ember. It's this one here. Need to save the challenge with cash if you want to get double primals on the first weekend. That's paying off. Oh, look. <laughs> we got a, a spider weapon. Oh, man. That's. Oh, man. That's sad. I really don't want to play spider, to be honest. They also nerfed Arakia spiders now on top of that. I guess the Arakia spider nerf is just like a, a byproduct of the chicken nerf, right? I guess it's LD spiders, but LD spiders will not really go anywhere. So. Man, I've cleared everything, okay. The fast vision. And I'm gonna push. Yeah, probably like 10 hours from now or something. Fifty clear video doesn't seem to work. What do you mean it doesn't seem to work? Perfect spider weapon. Ah, uh, do I wanna? S I don't wanna play it, man. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. Sad. Could have been a huge drop, man. If that was a dagger of darts, man. Holy. I think the other 50 clear video is not out yet. What do you mean? Is it uploaded? I don't see it in my list. Wish it or build. It's called Mundunugu Spear Barrage. Check it out on the next one. Just a live stream. 
Hmm. Maybe it was such a long live stream that uh, YouTube takes a while to encode it and stuff. Because I think maybe it just takes too long. <laughs> you know, I just finished that stream 12 hours ago or something, I don't know, 16 hours ago. This pad for picking up resources. Any of the flying pads. Apparently flying pads are a bit better than the others. The speed and the future percent damage. I mean, maxing pets. So much of min max. As, said, as far as I know, I have never confirmed this, but apparently the flying pets are a bit better at picking up loot with the altar than the walking pets, so I just use any of the flying things. I just saw that some of your abilities are grayed out and some are orange. You only a soul shard, what? I have no idea what you mean. Can you make a screenshot?
Yeah, I understand. He's talking about the stats, but I mean, I don't see why they would be great. I didn't know how it would look. Great out. Like, I'm remembering, like, Diablo 4 with great out aspects and stuff, but I don't even remember this being a thing in Diablo 3. Great out anything. Yeah, can I make a screenshot or so far? I want to see that. Hover over your helm. Ah. That's what I mean. The gray. No, it does give it stats. If I go for this helm, I should lose 1600 int. Let's see. Yes, look. I have an 8.9, 10.6. I do get the end. I do get a life. Look at my life. You have 1 million, 770, I mean, that's with the vitality on a helm, but... You can unsocket this. 866. And you, you do get the stats. This is not grayed out. This is just how the game displays stats. The... The, the gray icons are stats that directly impact your damage, toughness, or recovery. And all other stats with the orange icon do not directly impact any stats. I mean, in this case, I have kept Crimson, so resource uh, also gives me damage reduction. So my toughness will actually decrease quite a lot now, for example, if I unsocket this. You see? But um, this is due to the set. That's what it means. It's just a display of, you know, stats that show here or not. And good damage, you have 366. 250. Are you sure you didn't put like a level 0 soul shard in your weapon? You have to upgrade it. Yeah, I wanna see that. Give me a screenshot. Not ready yet. You can send it in Twitch chat. Easiest attention for Monk. Uh, I'll show it what is the easiest attention monk. Raymond, maybe. You know, it's pretty easy. If you don't want to master it, at least. You don't need to master this attention anymore these days, you only need to complete one.
By the way, this is a loading screen tip. That the icons that have like the orange like the, the orange icon stats, they don't show up in your sheet, in, the, in your stats, in your damage or toughness or something. It's like something like that in the loading screen tip somewhere. Primal. And, uh, what is that? Burning Axe. And the scorn. How holy man, the primals. We're looking for a Hell to have Helm. Then we're gonna try some GRs. See if we can actually find some Paragons on a Witch Doctor too. Is Fire or Water Anna better for Inner? Um, Water is the uh, farming build, and then fire or yeah, fire is the push build. There's also the option to push as earth ally, but that's pretty scuffed. I think fire wins, usually. I can farm augments very easily in season 30 with soul shards. You have to do the darkening of Tristram. In level 2 there's Butcher, and level 3 there's Leoric. They drop a lot of soul shards, you can use those as augment. Or just like, you know, play and get the soul shards as you go. If you upgrade them, they're the same as an augment from Petrified Scream. Darkening of Tristram, Farm Butcher and Leoric for Soul Shards if you need them. I got I'm doing early grind today. I got great rifts to clear. Ooh, nice. That's a big drop. No, 
don't have K Forgotten Souls, so that's not very much. But we have our offhand, which means we can make our weapon very easily. Probably just gonna primal the weapon anyway. Those uh, zombie bears. My good luck, I'm in there. Bounties in these portals are the best way to farm equipment. Yeah, you don't do bounties anymore. You just do bounties until you get your plants and do your, uh, like, whatever items you need, like being for a Granger, and then you never touch bounties again. Ultimately, you only want to do the visions for a little bit at the start. So you have the mats and a bunch of gear, and then you go farm T16 and Greater Rifts, so you get XP, yeah. Get the legendary gems, etc. For me, also, I'm like preparing now to like go great earths again because great earths are not much slower than this in terms of like overall legendaries per hour, but they also get XP. Maybe I should go with a bit of T16 so we get some keys. We have, uh, we have 220 keys. If I only play today, maybe a bit tomorrow, I guess you're probably fine on keys anyway. Boys go get GRs soon. Okay, so you could render of pain and your damage went up. Remnant of pain gives you minus 15% crit chance. So it sounds pretty accurate to me. Lucifer. I think you just missed that it gives you minus 15% crit. This half heading crit hit damage. I mean, you're not showing your details here. You only show, we only see this here, so... Did you open the character details? <laughs> but your sheet damage went up. How can it go up? When you get minus 15% crit. Here. This is 650. This is 630. And this is 790 for the floor as well. Yeah, so... Here your crit and your... Like the minus 15 crit and the 130 crit damage plus minus cancels each other out, so that sounds about right. And you get a bit of like additive, but it's a two handed scythe, so the additive is not that impactful. So that kind of checks out. And here you just get like a, a flat upgrade. This is hardcore against Thomas. It changed the level cap to 150. I think you're confusing this game for another game. We could that be? Oh, sorry, that was T-Mat. I, I looked at the wrong name. Can rate a season out of 10? Uh, it's a good season. It's one of the best seasons, I guess, actually, when I mean, you think about it. In terms of like the state of the game, the balance, and I guess the fun factor for casuals. For me, it's like not 
you know, it doesn't have like longevity because I don't like the Grand Paragons. So all I would do is, you know, I could go like, you know, one class a day and like in, in one week I have like done everything a class, uh, everything like 150 or something and then I kind of like peace out or so. Thank you. We got Shocky guys from Nini. But yeah, realistically, I know I'm not even gonna play a week for me anyway, because the four is coming. So it's a good season though. Maybe an eight. For my stash. What was the 10 out of 10 season for me? Oof. I wonder if that exists. I mean, Diablo 3 was always like a, you know, it always remained an unfinished game, I guess. So <laughs> that's kind of the, f the problem with that. I don't think there's a single season I would give a 10. Hyper season three. Oh yes. Great. Just play old school RuneScape if you want longevity. <laughs> yeah, I watched some people play that game. And sure, if you've played it back in the day, maybe you'll enjoy it, but I don't think I would. I have no connection to RuneScape, I don't know the game. What is Season 3 gonna be? Stay tuned to find out. Yeah, I feel the season's pretty cool too. I like a few year season. I think the fall will ever have a ten out of ten season. Oh yeah, surely. I mean, so far the season themes are like... You know... I mean, they didn't really have like much to go by, but... It seems like the season themes in the 4 are gonna be generally bigger... Than in the 3. But kind of like a smaller impact. Like there's like, you know, a new content, a new quest line, and you know, some new flavor and... Stuff. And maybe some extra power. But, you know, the season themes in D4 seem like much milder than D3. D3, like, you know, here I get plus 15 greater tears and raw power, enjoy. And in D4 that's like much, much, much less. Like the, the difference between eternal builds and season builds is like very minor. For the most part. Which is good, you know, don't get me wrong. I don't really like these... I, I don't really like that they started Diablo 4 doing exactly what they did in Diablo 3 with, like, power creep for season themes. I think they should focus more on the content side and less on the power creep side. I 
Although, I guess Season Themes are a pretty easy way to kind of like refresh every single build in the game, and that's kind of the advantage of it, I guess. If you add Power Creep for Season Themes, every single build will feel different every single season, which is also an advantage. You know, like there are some people that just play like the same build every single time, and even those people have something else to look forward to. So I guess that's pretty good. You just need to make sure that you don't accumulate the power creep over time. You know, by, for example, making these rings now for Marshan, and then they're gonna add some, you know, vampiric power somewhere else, and they're gonna add something else somewhere. But yeah, as long as they make them like items, and there's like, you know, some kind of like a trade off, I guess it's okay to kind of like preserve some of the season stuff. That is cool. I want to see map names in GRs. It shows in the top right. I think it would help before if they add set items. I think the lack of set items is a good thing, not a bad thing. But ultimately, I think they will add sets of some sort. And I mean, it can also be an improvement to the game. But they have to be. You have to tread very, very, very carefully when you do that. So, that's the most important part there. Good advent. So, Paragon Cap in every season now. Yeah, Paragon Cap currently is 20,000. That's in every season. Yeah, they can do like two piece sets, three piece sets, but I don't think I should do more than that in Diablo 4. Like, Diablo 4 has like way fewer item slots than Diablo 3. Having two, two large sets will be a problem. I think two and three pieces is okay. For some small effects. But most importantly, they need to make these sets interesting. You know? While I do appreciate that the Diablo 3 offers like so many different and relatively well designed playstyles, a lot of the sets are actually very uninteresting. They kind of like just force you into this playstyle. Which I mean is one way to do it, I guess, and it worked out surprisingly well for how scuffed the system is. But it's still a like, pretty shitty design, I think. Chat runes and rune words and socket armor. Yeah, I wonder how how they will do runes when they ever come to D3, uh, D4. Like, personally, I think the way they introduced rune words in Diablo 2, I mean, it's like one of the most beloved features, but I think they just made them way too powerful and way too, like, you know, it's like the thing, you know, basically. It's like the only thing that, you know, many builds actually really strive for. I mean, okay, there's still a good rare items that some people want, and there's still, like, you know, some good uniques that people want with certain effects and stuff, but I feel like the rune are just, like, too important in Diablo 2. When do I start pushing on Witch Doctor? Yeah, tonight. I'm planning in, like, around nine and a half hours. Let's see how far we get until then. What do you think of Auction House in E4? Would be the worst idea, I think. But um, maybe they could also look into what, for example, as Epoch was doing lately. 
the last epoch trade system is fucking genius and uh, I think they should maybe go more in that direction Das war's Epoch 2. Uh, they allow you to join two separate factions. Like one, you can choose one, but you can also swap it. And one is a trading faction, and one is a SSF faction, basically. And uh, the SSF faction allows you to like they will get more loot and target farm loot better. And the trade faction allows you to like unlock ranks and then like trade more and more different items through a bazaar, so there's like NPCs and they have like their own, like you can like list items there, a bit like an auction house, but it's like item type specific. And when an item drops, then it will be tagged with uh, either of the factions, so it, uh, an item that you find or like that you buy from the market, for example, you cannot then use and play SSF. And similar, if you find an item through the power of SSF boosts, you can't trade it. So it's, it's really cool. And then there's also the group found stuff, so if you play together, even with, with the SSF faction, uh, if, you, if, if you play with your friends, you can find an item that is like a consumable that allows you to trade an item to your friend, even if you find it at another time. And they're not in a game. So it's like it's like really well designed. Is Pestilence worth it once you get LD and a few decent legendaries? Yeah, Pestilence is pretty good, like a solo GR build. I guess Nova is still more XP if you care about XP. Gonna push off Crusader? Uh, no. I'm most likely not making a third class. But if I make a third class. That is not Crusader. And not Necro. So that leaves us with Monk, Barb, or Wizard. Yeah, it's also not going to be a wizard, I guess. So, monk or barb? I guess monk would play, probably be like a third class. If I play a third class, it will be a monk, I guess. I want a Woody class in the fray. OP for another one. When you farm bounties or enemy portals or the greater rifts. Now you do the visions a little bit at the start to get a you know your early gear. And some materials, and then you just farm GRs. GRs are not much slower. If you, if you do like 90 to 120 second clears, then GRs are not much slower than visions in terms of gearing. And you can also gamble, you can target items, and you can also get XP and some legendary gems.
Oh, I just remember, today is the 14th of January. We're gonna do a bunch of giveaways today for the Abattoir of Zero Data Bots. Actually, I wanted to talk to our event mods for that. Whoopsie. Got distracted from the D3 season. I had a few deadlines for the giveaways for the day. D4 team isn't too sharp in deadlines. Yeah, luckily for everyone, I'm not a D4 team. Shit. We need death triggers actually. I'm gonna talk to the event mods real quick. Uh, fuck, past the channel. I'm gonna sup, thank you. Not ready yet. You married you. I'm gonna see, thank you, man. Yeah, I was uh, also looking at some stuff on my other screen real quick. Have we condemned Crusader build guide? We have a guide on Maxwell for Condemned Seda, yes. Made by Northlar. Hey, Bassad, how are you doing? After you play D4, you never play D3 again. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot of people think the same in the shows. The interest in D3 seems much less than 
season 28 or season 27 or so. I'm also not going to play it very much, to be honest. A little bit. You can kind of have to get out as possible if any other build an entire trap on the edge. Uh, yeah, it will be possible with Marauder, Yui, Shadow, LOD, Rapid Fire, and Gold the Edge. And Dock in D4 would be cool. Yeah, I agree. I think Witch Doctor would fit really well into a D4. The fastest way to get normal gems. Broken crown and blast. But you can also, like right now, you can farm the Darkening of Tristram event. You kill Butcher and Auric and Savage with all shards. That's probably the fastest, actually. And after a few runs, you have enough for whatever you need. <laughs> Holy fuck, we are in chat as well today. Did you hear, Richie? You guys aren't real Diablo players, man. Richie knows. Not real. Guess. Dude, I have like, I also found the boots earlier, I found gloves, I believe in fire fucking Arrakis that man, and a primal weapon for it. 
What the fuck is going on? Still missing Hell to have Helm. Kinda of tempted to uh, reroll set items until I get a Helm. I don't use a 42107. It's always the case when you say you don't want to play, yeah? I'm like full Ancient Eric here, man. And a primal weapon. Fuck me, man. I mean, I do have some, some decent pieces for, already for Zuni and for uh, Heltuf as well. But I wish it would be more. Four is sexy and mature, and this game is cartoon. Yeah, I don't know. I took a look at the MTX store on D4. We're not quite there yet, but give it another one or two years. You know, they're already starting a bit with the rogue set. And some booba sorg sets I've seen. That's a rogue set, though. Let's see, Richie nine 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 follows since December twenty seven, two thousand twenty three. What else do we have here? Oh, never mind. He did follow me and unfollowed me because he wrote on the twenty first of the October. Is this game less bad now? Did they improve the game or it still sucks? Socks, guys. One sock. <laughs> okay. And then on 27th of December he wrote, Did you know this game is disliked by people on the internet? PoE players don't like this game. And then at Retro Vice <laughs> 26. You guys are all Blizzard employees. That's why you like it. <laughs> oh shit, man. And then today, he strikes back. Why play this when he could be playing the F4? <laughs> Makes no sense. Like this. Oh god. <laughs> you guys aren't real Diablo players, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and it has to do with the socks, guys. If you if you put on the sock, it will contain the smell, so there's no scent. You know? It all makes sense.
Ah, uh, that was glorious, man. I love my chat. Hey, last wolf, by the way, thanks for the raid. You're coming one minute too late. <laughs> anyway, hope you had a good time. <laughs> yeah, what's up with the socks today, man? Like, earlier someone on YouTube channel asked me why is there only... <laughs> why only one sock <laughs> in the pants? Oh man. <laughs> Need two socks and a pants, yeah. I'll try to get two socks. But right now I'm very comfortable with my <clears throat> one sock pant. What's better for Natalia, terror or hatred? That's a really good question. I cleared four times under 50 yesterday with Terra, and then I switched to Shard of Hatred and made a better time. But I mean, uh, it depends on how well you can play around Ring of Fire. I mean, I know how to play around Ring of Fire pretty well. If you don't do it well, you will suck with Ring of Fire, I think, compared to Shard of Hatred. Shard of Hatred basically is good for certain rifts, and Ring of Fire is better for other rifts. And it depends on how well you play around the Ring of Fire. But ultimately, Shadow of Hatred is going to be the better play because Natalia is strong enough to just like destroy 150. Like very soon, you know, we're going to see like five minute clears on 150 or something. And if you if you do like five minute clears, then Shadow of Hatred is definitely better. Maybe only one of the socks is sexy and mature. Now these are small pants, yeah. Only one sock. Which are the best sounds for visuals? Uh, festering wood, sweeping hollow, cathedral. Everything with like large density, basically. I'm doing the realm of fate as well here. It's also not bad. Do you have a Discord server? I do, yeah. It's in the description on YouTube. Oh my god, two times in a row, one floor vision. Ugh. This is like loot from two visions, guys. <laughs> Unlucky. I should have started doing PTRs for the four seasons. But if you're asking me as a content creator, I'd say hell yeah, easy money. If you're asking me as a gamer, I'd say hell nah. I think it's very much fun without.
They just need to get their shit together and they don't introduce 200 bucks every single season. Oh, no socks, dragon. <laughs> you think twisting again? You don't find anything that's augment? What are you searching for? Okay, in level 2, there's the Butcher. The Butcher drops 7 soul shards on T16. And then in level 3 or something, there's like Lauric. And he also drops 7 soul shards. So you can farm these for so for for the soul shards. You can salvage these soul shards for gems, and you can also upgrade these soul shards to level three and then use that as an augment. It's a 125 aug. How deep is Tristan Dungeon? If it's at 15 levels, I think. Do people play D3 still? No, this is a rerun, guys. From five seasons ago. I'm just sitting here and talking. Now I'm playing some season 29 footage to make it seem real. Makes sense. Dude, this is loot from three visions now in my inventory. Yikes. Damn. This one has physical rest, and this one has lightning and ranged. Actually, lightning is pretty legit. If I go with uh, Swampland as humans, you don't really need physical rest on the gear. Lightning is actually good. So this is a really sick chest here. So I'll probably use this one. Also has more armor and more ins. So let's just try to roll the helm. Try a bit. Oh, do I have a skimshaw? This one. Yikes. 
Yikes. Now oh, wait, we don't need... We don't need uh, physical. Uh, sorry, we don't need poison on it, right? It doesn't matter. We're playing poison build anyway. Okay. Easy. Um, I wonder if I should go for the on-death explosion. I'm gonna try the on-death explosion. I'm gonna try the 50% damage. But you probably want the 50% damage. Of course I'm going to commentate in the VOD. I've been doing this for a decade. Do we have any Anakumba? We have this one. Dragon, how there's 100,000 people on Discord and 180 watching. I have 180 people on YouTube and I have 2,000 on Twitch. Hello guys, by the way. Let's just do this for now. Let's get some Stormy Bear roll here. Okay. Got some. Uh, oh, good question. I'm gonna go for area damage instead of Soviet Charger. Let's see what he gets. Ah, well. I need some int, I guess. <clears throat> Also, that nice squirts necklace here. Need more time. Okay. Peonia. Let's try Soul to Waste and Severance. But I think he probably wanna go Shukrani. He probably still wants Horrify. Need Wall of Death. Nah, shit. So like this. More bears. Okay. And we do this. I guess we should be running with the Guardian at this point. So we're guarding Guardian, Helltooth. And then we should equip like a St. Archers or something. 
Ah, okay. Speed. Okay. Okay, now where is the Explodey? I think the Explodey is still on my DH, huh? I'll try it both. Let's see. GR speeds, God or Impale. They're pretty close. Why empty sock in chest? <laughs> God damn it, man. Hello, Jack. Going well, how about you? What's the best build of harm? Higher greater earth, but speed. Higher greater earth, but speed. What is high for you? I mean, a 150 is farm. Uh, I don't know, sometimes a tire is pretty good for that, I guess. Oda, maybe. Maybe Crusader can do it well. Something that doesn't really need like two large poles, or it's like at least I'm not consistent, I guess. Okay, we're gonna start with the Explorer gem. Do like a run or two and see how it goes. Hana 20, Hana 30. I can do it with Impale just fine. Oh god. Okay, we need a Zayz. Trap powerful. We also need another ring here. That was a big CWE, man. Holy. I'd be happy with that one. Oh, I guess I'll augment vitality, maybe? I think I'll augment vitality on this ring, actually. Although my DH feels tanky enough, we don't really need vitality on it, but it wouldn't hurt to have a bit extra. Good night, that guy. I mean, it's no chance I'm gonna get a bit of CoE anymore, right? One and a half crits. A really high average. Uh, star Fable, thank you. Okay, I'm scrolling up in the chat a bit because I was distracted from the stash. Can I say something about that higher playstyle? Yeah, it's very difficult. <laughs> like, you need to learn how to pull monsters properly. Once you can do that, then you have mastered like 40% of it. Then you also have to learn how to survive. And once you've done those two, you have like 80% of it, and then you need to know, learn how to new properly. So it's like a very dedicate... You know, there's like very little, uh, like, like tiny details that make a huge difference, basically, in Natalia playstyle. Just need, need some practice, and... You know, like the timing on the pulling is important. And then also pulling stuff together, for example, for Oculus rings and for your COE. So you get the area damage value is important. Missing a sock, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna craft new. Should 
sort of actually just crafted helm or something. Actually, if I craft a guardian helm, can't be, be, be worse than this, right? So maybe just wasted a bunch of materials there. Okay, let's just leave this there for now. It's fine. Let's put this here, here. It's like a really potato amulet, but okay. Right here. You can augment this. And this. It's unlikely I'm going to replace these items and this. So it's one, two, three. We can craft a crimson. Let's craft crimson. Do you have to match for it? Not very much, to be honest. So I'll just get lucky. This has the all rest, though. I mean, maybe. One sock. Fuck. I really don't want to use something like this for Zuni. Has no secondaries, has all res. Uh, this has. We want, we want fetish army damage and area damage, so this could be okay for Zuni. The text augment would help with damage reduction, I guess. That's this as well. My mentalfrance goes down a lot. There's also missing percent life. What's this? Okay, it's similar. We don't have enough int for the all rest to be that much better than armor, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, let's get two socks. One sock. Two sock. Don't even want to augment this. But I don't think I really have an option, honestly. <clears throat> We're not gonna get enough... Uh, I mean, okay, we can convert a little bit, so actually. We can we can convert, okay. So let's augment this. One, two, three. Uh, four, I guess. Need attack speeds. Yes. Fuck. Attack speed? Fuck. Anyway, we got some augments. Uh. There are sets now. Yes, now there are sets. Surprisingly. Out of nowhere. Ah, oh, we can actually just upgrade this. Do I need to convert? One, two, three. All right. We have 15k and we have to change the passive. So we have Grave Injustice, we have the Templar. Let's get Oculus in there. Oh, 84 is fine. Give him a diamond. Uh, the time to 150 was 19, and, uh, 19 hours and 3 minutes. So applying the cross, it takes 60% less damage. So we have 60%, 60%, so we have like 300 mil toughness, 400 mil. Not very high toughness, to be honest. <clears throat> this is vitality on the offhand and weapon. Gruesome feast. We don't have fierce loyalty though, so this can be changed as to this. Can also massively reduce my toughness with this passive here. Look, 59, 45. <laughs> um, now let's just try this, I guess. What paragon was I? I'm not sure. 1100, 1200. Even PoE has sets as of lately. Wait, what sets are we talking about? I mean, I had like pseudo sets in PoE. Like the... I remember like in Abyss or something. Best way to get Cardus on Hard 25. Right now, Soul Shirts. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Legary, by the way. 
Start wish like that too, when doing good, good luck. Okay, it's gonna like try it out. Let's just do a, I don't know. Let's start at 95 and see what happens. One shotting stuff. Okay, that's good news. I'd actually really like to have Ekin Fury for this, just more casts. Each passing build rocks the same packs of Malakai's loop, badge, Malakai's boost, and name is built on Mage Blood or Boyd Lottery. Yeah, okay, I guess it's just like how certain like archetypes work, right? Power stacking or like frenzy stacking. I mean, there's like certain uniques that enable these kind of things, and that's how it is. But I think that's okay. As long as I don't overdo it. Can I get... Okay, can I can do like two death explosions with a single cast, I wonder. It looks like it, actually. Oh, that's kind of nice. So we can like focus more on running. It's kind of weird because like the zombie bears already kill stuff before they ever come out of the ground. What? <laughs> oh no, man. Rank 15. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, let's go plus five. See what happens. Guy in the group was still number one NA Witch Doctor, and uh, there's 22 entries total. Holy shit, man. Hey, Naughty Mars. We have Blasting, eh? Blasting is pretty good. Rank 10, we're front page, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> How many cooldowns do we have? One, two, three, four. Could go Slip of Terror and actually boost our damage quite a lot like this. To go off the crit and attack speed. We don't really care about longer cooldowns, I guess.
musst. If you go into Darkness of Tristan on floor 2 and kill the Butcher on turn 16, you get one shot of each type. Really? Thank you. Okay, so 105. What I'm laughing at. I'm laughing at the fact that I'm ranked 10 Witch Doctor currently. By doing a 1 minute 50 speedrun. On tier 100. I don't think it's supposed to work like this. No, it's supposed to work like this. That's intentional. Okay, we're going to try the 50% extra damage. Uh, actually, we have a lot of additive on this build, right? We have 80% on the zombie charger there as well. So, I don't know, for speedrun, I think the explosion is maybe not so bad. That's my cooldown reduction, 60. I strike at your heart. Yes, my altar is finished. Oh, we're ranking up, guys. Let's go. Okay, let's try this with a uh, slip of terror. 230, though. Oof. The problem is, like, it really depends on the little map. Okay, this one has attack speed and crit and longer cooldowns. Man, my cooldowns reset so fast though with the uh, grave injustice. It's a problem. So I think I like the shot of hated more just for speed. And not worrying about spamming everything.
Man klickt deswegen. Reblas D2R, New Season. Uh, zero chance. so much fun with Jade. What are you farming or pushing with Jade right now? They buffed it a lot, right? I wonder how it feels now. I got the rest, by the way. I'm doing good, and you? Okay, this feels kind of okay here. The death blow and sliver. Let's go 110 and see what happens. At this point, we rely on the thing of emptiness a lot, though, which is a bit sad. This check took a while. Oh, 10 is a bit slow, I feel. You can still easily farm it, but it's a bit slow. I want to stay this uh, two minutes. Yeah, Ambers are consumable random drops that are bad, that's how I upgrade them. Rank 5! <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, we're getting pretty close to Impale, though. I mean, if I can do it like 2 minutes, 110, so that's okay. We get a bunch of XP as well while we're doing this. So I think I have the Shot of Hatred, though. Another Hell Tooth. Also, we can put some attack speed on our weapon. I think I want the attack speed here, right? Dimension attack speed. I probably prefer attack speed and area, but okay. I can see Master BS here. Well, because 
It technically is like the strongest damage output build in the game right now. But yeah, it's not recommended. Do not play Zonimasa. It's hard to play. Dude, what's up here with this uh, locks? Yeah, that's like one of the problems of Sony Bears, man. They get stuck so much here on these uh, on these maps here. I can't attack anything. We should have like taken care of that a little bit, make it easier for them to spawn and hit stuff. Maybe I should just pass through the terrain or something. I'm pushing with uh, help to summon bears later as well, yeah. Bass can actually hit 150 with it earlier on softcore. So, yeah, even with low paragon, we can do 150, so I might go for it. Pretty nice. Yeah, so it's with a power pile in here. So the boss fight is a problem, man. Even with a power, look. Did I not... Maybe I didn't locust them, actually. If so that was without locust, then this is basically equivalent to not having power pile in. And this would be fine. Let's get some gloss first, actually. We have Ancient Death Diggers that are potentially usable. Oh man, so close. Could be done with the gloss right here. Let's save this. Lightning rest, that's pretty good too. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice map. Big space. There's a power pile too. It's time to push leaderboards, guys. We're gonna get rank 5. Watch out. I gotta say, the death blow explosion actually helps here in these cases where, you know, these guys were stuck behind the wall now and like one guy popped and everything popped. Kinda nice.
Okay. I think we didn't have the Logos Storm earlier. I want to get only four Druid. Zombie Bears. I think something where like you summon like a wave from behind you and like you know it could be like not so many bears but it could be like you know I don't know rocks or something. Yeah, that could be cool. And you guys got goals with you. I mean, I guess you have boulder that always already does that a little bit, but I need like you know ten boulders. Maybe like a unique item or something that transforms it. I think I'm gonna go with this here because it allows me to like skip stuff more, more quickly. But I can't really go much higher than because the boss potential suck. Do you have gems? And these are getting the vault other than group bounties. You can uh, put a puzzle ring into the into the cube and uh, then the uh, vault opens. We have 4.4k vitality now. Yeah, this is maybe a bit low. I'm gonna put that counter points back. The state of Jade build. Yeah, they, they massively buffed at this patch. It's not like really top tier or so, but I think it's okay. Can definitely play it.
I'm going to be in cube with gem level 3. Nah, it was introduced like 3 years ago, but yes, you can do that. See you, dragon. Uh, push build for me is going to be Sunny Bears, this one here, and Sunny. I'll do 150 on both. Das ist actually crazy playing a witch doctor without getting CC'd, without getting stuck. So good for witch doctor, man. Altar. I don't have a link for the build. Go on a Maxwell page. This is Zombie Bears, Helltooth. The red weapon is Cube Recipe 11. Many strands are okay. It's like pretty consistent. Two minutes right now. 110. I like it. I'm gonna stick to this for a while. Jade. Am I gonna play Jade? Probably not. Don't be shy. Who is there? Mm, two more Zunis. Oh man. This has attack speed, this has crit damage, it's like number four now. Okay, four out of ten. Keep gambling. There's another one. Okay, this didn't, didn't roll any of the stats. Actually, what else do I need to gamble after the Gloss and Zuni? We have an okay helm. We have an offense. I'm not sure if I have boots. I think I do have boots though. Yo, General Master. Enjoy. Got number one, Necro SF down. Oh, MJ, congrats. Wait, is this 150? What did you do? Uh, 40 on NA, okay. That'll be good. Okay. 
An Explory feels so fun. I'm not sure if I even want to swap and try the non explody version. You're only going to do like something like 30% extra damage. Or so, or 20. We I mean, don't get explosions. I kind of like the explosions. Spirit is on max though, yeah. This is hell to some bears. I cannot carry any more. Yes, so you must have number five. Okay. I'll fight there, I guess. That's how it works, right? You just need to find it ten times. I gave you PTSD. <laughs> Ouch. I do say if she deaf actually. How did it hurt me so much? It's a hundred ten, I guess. So only guys can't be reflected by Sandra as well, right? I'm sure. Press P is like five in uh, path of the round. Get your Tempest Sash, use Guardian Set or CDR from Crimson Goods. Uh, you can use Guardian Set on POJ, I'd say. It's not a reason not to. It means you have to cube the Bracer. And then you can get like another equ item equipped, but yeah, you can do that, I think. Like the CDR is only really important for a Perma Epiphany, but you don't really care about a Perma Epiphany very much, especially by farming. And especially now with CC immunity, there's not really a point to have Primal Epiphany. Guardian set is fine for POJ. Make the 150 world first in hardcore. Not just in hardcore. <laughs> I'm a cat. Oh. Look at that, man. Can't sell it, sure. Fortune favors the bowl. That will look nice on you. Do you come back again? Any 
Meow. Everyone's asking about my build, man. Have you guys never seen a health of zombie bear? Probably you haven't. Okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, hell too, some embarrassed the build. Song is this Dead Life Never Forget? What is the funniest and best to push after the age? Oh, Mitch Doctor, I guess. That's what I'm doing. I think it's gonna be pretty cool to push some with i I'm very happy to see that it has cleared 150. So we're gonna do that later. <laughs> hey, there's a tux. I didn't even know I had that thing. More Eric here, ancients. I think we still go 2 for speed after the nerf, really? Can you do a higher than 110? At this paragon, at this pace? Not ready yet. Let's check actually. Might be some that haven't pushed. Okay, not here. He said 243, 850 Paragon, 700, 3 minutes. What about here? He's a 
What's the reason? Which doctor wasn't in before? Oh, that's only so many spots for new classes to add in a new game. I mean, I guess the reason is that Witch Doctor is by far the most unpopular class in Diablo 3. They wanted to make a successful game. No, oh, we ranked up, but we actually ranked down. Someone is pushing, guys. I went to rank 6 now instead of 5. Yeah, I don't think that Witch Doctor's low popularity has much to do with its power. I mean, there are seasons where Witch Doctor wasn't really the top or something, but there's also seasons where Witch Doctor was the top. And there's many seasons where Witch Doctor was at least a side grade to some of the top builds. People still don't play it, so... I mean, it was just like, I guess, the thing that, especially like after Mundunugu, and then after Mundungu nerf, when was Mundungu season 20? And then nerfed at season 21. But yeah. Like Mundungu is like, was like one of the best builds, but it was like super complicated and difficult to play. And then it was nerfed. And then Wish Actor only had like Zuni and stuff. But that is also like super difficult and... Really pops off later. And they didn't even have much else. And then got Summy Bears, but Summy Bears wasn't really like top tier. Now it is though. Pumping, man. Yeah, good speedbills was definitely a problem. We got a chicken now. And this, I guess. And then, I mean, there was like LOD darts, which was also okay. I've never tried to do like a really optimized LOD darts. But I think it's pretty decent too. I really enjoyed Witch Doctor if I ignore the other class. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in a vacuum, like if you didn't know that teleport exists and that demon hunters go at like 300 miles an hour and that monks can like infinitely dash around, Witch Doctor is actually pretty good. More Jade. We have so many bad damage. Ah. Yo, log in, man. Holy shit. Okay. Got a. Got a ring for Zuni. Actually, for this as well, right? I might actually play Travelers instead of COE. They have a faster boss kill. Actually, not necessarily. I guess we need like three, four stacks on average on to beat Traveler. Not that much. Yeah, 
Look at the mojo. Okay. I looked. Oh, Connors is back online. Rank 2 Barb. Best special up is technically Zumi Masa. But Summer Bear is pretty good too. Oh, hey, Cosmic. Full guide on leap. Is it leaping, though? <laughs> I must wait longer. Oh, you're not get combo tunnel from this game. I don't know. I guess I'm just different. Is this like this whirlwind build? Cosmic? I saw... Uh, who was that actually? Someone pushed it in one season. Was that you? I'm not sure if I watched you actually. Did I run Impair at all? Yes. I've been speedrunning a bit for, I don't know, maybe five hours or so at least. Didn't do a push though.
and voila. My God. I cover really bad holy. In the Arbor 4 itemization is coming in probably season 4. Skill trees, I think, are fine. I think the skill trees are fine in D4. What do you want exactly there? Would be cool if they like maybe add, you know, like more options, like a third upgrade for every skill or something, or. I don't know. With other stuff, but I think realistically the skill tree works really well for what it's supposed to do. And over time you might get like more skills and more passives and stuff. You know, like even like adding like a, one or two key passes to every class could be a huge thing already. Just like completely change how stuff works or something, but I think the skill tree is enough complexity and they need to rather maybe add like another com like progression system later. Separate from that. Movement for Necro. Oh my god. Uh, well, what do you level now? We actually need a modulation guard. Because we need uh, all skills and chantras for Zuni. Can you actually roll the spirit barrage on this thing? You can. Kinda scuffed. Let's actually start getting some belts. We need a witching hour. There's many belts.
Oh, thanks, Diego. And then I go to sleep. Uh, I stopped. I stopped playing after exactly 24 hours. So this was 26 hours stream. I woke up like 10 minutes before the stream. And yeah. Then plus two hours of meeting. I had a maximum meeting after the stream last night. So it was like around 30 hours. Visions for Ancient Puzzle Ring and Primals. Ah, uh, yeah, Visions is the most loot. ID3, not E4. Because season starts. Two days ago. And where do you position the, the cat? Here, maybe? I don't want to, like, misclick on it. With floor one here. And where do we go? Oh. Found it. Hello? What's up? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Guys, you got food. It smells very good. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I guess I should have a little break. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm coming in a second. What, what are you eating? Hmm? What are you eating? Not yet. Mm. Okay, I'll be there in a second. <laughs> Mrs. Bonicho goat. Are you the goat? <laughs> Don't forget, luck always changes. How would I improve LD red? Necro toughness. Uh you shouldn't try. I guess more raw vitality from paragons and I don't know. Maybe you can try to sneak in in Unity or something. Okay, I think I'm gonna have a short break, guys. Gonna pick up the cat. And, uh, I'll be a bit in like five minutes or so. Let's put it back.
Hey guys, I'm back. What did I miss? Condus rank 1 Barbarian. That's what I missed. Look at that. Wrong kind of 50 done. Oh. Let's take a look at that as well. Here. Feeds. That looks like a bit of light. Not bad. Ring of Fire, Drax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Ring of Light is a pretty good build for Ring of Fire. And with this, you actually have more boss damage than before now, right? So they actually buff the boss damage. And the AOE damage nerf doesn't matter too much with Ring of Fire. It would be fat. Yeah. One problem solved for Nini. <laughs> How was my little snack? It was good. It was too much, actually. Two burgers is too much. Oh, he's playing... Wait, he's playing lightning. Oh, shit. He, he's gonna melt the fucking boss with this. He played lightning. Hmm. Yeah, Resource on crit makes it possible, I guess. That's interesting, though. Hundred twenty five, what a shit roll. No secondary and four and a half crit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like everything is min roll. Look at that shit. That's pretty decent, I guess. Hey, what is this primal? The neck? Hey, my primal neck. Mm -hmm. Not bad. How's Barb? No one is doing Barb, really. He's on a 40. It's a frenzy? Frenzy, man. This Hoda is also Frenzy. He switched to Frenzy. Did it buff Frenzy this season? I'm not sure if it was part of the buffs. I don't think so, right? Anyway. What am I drinking here, man? Red Bull, the yellow edition. I've had better. <clears throat> I need to try to get me some energy drinks or something for season start. But we have a problem. The season start is already over. And I slept. And now I have to get rid of this stuff. Tropical edition. Okay, so it's like different flavors and stuff. Okay. I'm never trying for rank one. I mean, I could be done in 10 minutes from now, I guess. But I'm not gonna do like some potato on a 40 push now. I'm gonna go for on a 50 right away. Planning to in like around 7 hours. 6, 7 hours maybe. Need to get some gear until then. Let's see where we are. At. I have a few decent pieces already, but I don't have much to craft or reforge. I have like basically no much to craft anything. Can do a bit of reforging, but not much. So I still need to gamble at least a good witching hour. And there's only master glove that I can augment. 
and uh, better dead diggers and a uh, Zunimasa pair of boots. The rest is fine. And for Helltooth, we have the glove, we have the chest, we need boots as well, we need a helm, shoulder, and we need a bracer. So there's a lot of work to be done still. <coughs> On a dawn. Interesting. Oh, you can just walk through this uh, statue with passability. That's funny. Didn't realize. I gotta say, Witch Doctor feels pretty good. It's not like Demon Hunter tier, but it's pretty good. Oh my god, stop rubber bending. Death Blow, Anguish, Biss for speed farming. Uh, I use it on Impale and on this build now as well, yes. Not for every build, though. The 50% Anguish can be just fine, but this build has a lot of additive damage. Like, the Anguish 50% would only give me, like, I don't know, 20% DPS, maybe. It's not that much. In that case, I go for the Explosion. Just have more AoE. Maybe spares are very small, you know. They don't hit that much. And if one of them pops a target and then you get the explosion, you, you get a lot of value out of it. So it depends on like the exact like you know like AOE of your build, right? If you hit the entire screen anyway, then you don't really need the explosion. But if you hit like barely anything but very high damage, like impale, it's very good. Best push with the season. Nah, there's no real winner. Every class has something really good. Monk seems so RNG on the 150 race because of the Lady League yeah. Uh, not really. I mean, Monk is the best at farming the gear, though. Like, Monk is definitely the fastest at doing, like, the visions and speed GRs and stuff with Inner. And also, I mean, by the time you do 150 push, you are kind of expected to have at least nearly full Ancients. Like, on my entire push, I actually had the Ancients in every slot, including the Rings and the Amulets. So, <clears throat> it wasn't, like, the best items, but good enough, you know. And if you had that similar quality of, like, LD gear, it would be okay. You can get up relatively fast for like a decent push. How come I'm not playing the Apple 4? Well, because the Apple 3 also exists. It's a fun game. Every few months. Thank you, Stabo. 
Got a primary little as well. It's actually used on LD bombardments. And I think uh I think Cosmic did a rank one breaker with little as well as well last season. On, on the Paragon Cup breaker season. I drink water and not coffee. Water is healthy. Yeah, look at my water in a can. <coughs> it's Impale the best solo XP. Now I would say it's pretty close. Impale, God. And I think UE and we also have an S tier. Those are probably the best. But Inna, Inna is definitely also quite competitive. It's pretty good uh, solo speed fine builds. Especially now you have the Jacks of Lies. Like all pet builds benefit more than other builds from the soul shards. By like a tier or two I'd say. Pet builds are generally a bit stronger this season because of Jacks of Lies. I just got like this insane burst. Okay, I guess this was the COE actually yeah, popping off now. Did she have 70 in 41 seconds? <laughs> if Light is also pet builder. Yeah. I also use Drex. Oh, did I just extend the Gantle? Oh, it's a Jade. Man, Jade and Zuni boots are looking almost the same. God damn it. I got bamboozled twice. Ah, I'm gonna go pants. Close. Don't really want to go with a non ancient witching out, if I'm honest. <laughs> Primal rapid fire cover. <laughs> oh man. Can't wait to see the bola on the leaderboard though, Sepke. Okay. Tell me when you do it. You can all these keeps, yeah. Can I drop in a random blue portal? Yes. Can't drop anywhere. Can even craft them. Got one piece for the stuff of hurting. Impressive, Master X One Y Two Z Three. Well, pro tip: if you get the stuff of hurting, you do it with combined with vision farming. You know, just go over there, kill stuff on the way, get visions, do the visions. So you don't really lose much time from stuff having stuff of hurting if you do it that way. <coughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, like the stuff in one hour, I don't think it's even that lucky. Most of the pieces are relatively easy to get. So I fought some Nazi Park. Uh, I'm gonna make a little review video actually soon. I think uh, later after stream or tomorrow I'm gonna gonna record a few things, including that. But overall, I, I really like it. Had a lot of fun when I played it last week. Looking forward for the release. I was actually not so convinced of last epoch last time I played it. I, mean, I was like, okay, you know, fun game and stuff, but I didn't expect much, you know, like, you know in terms of like me wanting to play it or something. But I'm um, really looking forward to it now, especially with this new system they previewed and like, you know, patch 1.0, big update and cool stuff, etc. <clears throat> Had a good time. Review, not interview. Uh, interview is also coming, but not for last epoch. <laughs> but there's something cool coming up too, as well, soon. In a few weeks. You can just take five minutes and watch the video, bastard. I have a video as well. Easier than reading the article. I also have a video, but it's longer than five minutes. So I made a I made a ten minute video explaining the five minute video. <laughs> That's very sus, actually. Know nothing about it. That's how you do YouTube, yes. <laughs> how you really do YouTube is you take people like me and then you react to it for 30 minutes. That's how you do YouTube. I'll drop in the rat. Oh, we had that already. What is that about self hurting dragon? I do have the self hurting. I found it like yesterday. After like seven hours or so, I had it. I did cap Paragon, yeah, it's 20,000. It's Aragon. Another ancient puzzle.
<laughs> Why did he can't take the primal on the floor? It's a cat, man. What are you guys what gonna do with her? You want me to salvage the cat? <coughs> What kind of monster are you? I can't hit this guy. Okay. When they're going to announce season 3 for D4? Uh, in around 52 hours? Or so? Yeah, in, on Tuesday we're gonna get the season announcement, or whatever they mean. We're gonna get something on Tuesday, and we're gonna get the campfire chat on Thursday. I did sacrifice the stuff hurting us, Dragon. I'm not sure what you want to do with it. You hopped on a team that went straight into story mode, it was awful. <laughs> Why didn't you just say, K, thanks, bye? Appear as offline. Sorry, guys. Internet problems. Aspect Codex rework. Yeah, actually, that's coming in season three now, right? Was it also season four? Maybe it's coming in season three. That'd be cool, actually. No. No, maybe not this season then. How many primals do you need for the altar? You need six primals for the altar. Ah, uh, Satch. They don't actually do the Codex rework. I guess one more season of Suffering. Would be nice though. Maybe they, they have it ready. Or maybe they're gonna give it. Who knows? Good fucking shock towers. Oh, I got a new rank. Again. Rank 6, we chucked that guys. We did it. <laughs> it only took me one hour, uh, one minute and... 35.
Is there augment that I suck down? I have like four augments or something. Just like some pieces I'm un unlikely to replace. about Dungeon Siege. What? If you delete your primal, you get 55 back. So this means in double primal mode, you get uh, one primal drop is one craft, basically, because you just delete your old craft. Actually, it's slightly more than one craft, because you get 110 from salvaging two primals. You use 100. You don't like it, you salvage it, you have 65. What soul shards are also recommended? On this build right now, I have the movement speed on the sh on the helm shard, and I have the explosion on the essence of anguish. There's a lot of stuff actually I want to keep here. Dream. God, can't hit anything here. Yeah. Dude, they're all coming down here. What the hell? I don't hit anything. It's like insta leaf, man. Graveyard. Can't do this with this build. Look at this. I can't hit anything. Graveyard. Hoping some love for the four turn around. What are you looking for exactly for a turn around?
Okay, 284 and has crit. I can more crit damage. This seems like an upgrade. If you can roll it. Actually, I realize I still need a good ring of emptiness. 7%. I don't think I'm gonna play any Guardian until this season, let's just delete all of this. I'm a Marauder. And the spider thing. That's a good part about carrying belts, man. Almost a tire bloodshot cap. One inventory. Expecting good things from season three. Yeah, of course. Season three is gonna be big. Season four even bigger. It's gonna be fun. I'll probably get sold 150 the easiest. I think Hoda or Nova. Yo, one floor build. I have one floor map here. Let's go. New record? Hell yeah. 120 man. Look at that. 
And oh, Primal Jeram. That's nice. So we must are coming together, guys. I'll take it. I'm going to be styling on that leaderboard of a Mask of Jeram equipped instead of a Carnival. That's. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this in Master Clear that has, has Master Zero equipped, actually. That's cool. Let's go. 119. Gabriel Van Braces. Yeah, but the Witch Doctor is a uh, pretty decent speed bomber, I gotta say. I like it. Feels pretty decent. Like these ex explosions here. Of anguish as well. Thanks for the crime, by the way, from Kaboom. And you keep spirit full of raiment. And uh, you punch very fast. And if that's not enough, you can use Breath of Heaven. What order do I recommend getting the altar potions? Uh, first one the shrines, second one the rings, third one the damage reduction. More primers? No, this was just a uh, ember. We have no generator or breath of heaven with the one with the max roll. What? You're talking about Raymond? I thought you were asking about Raymond. That's literally a generator build. Well, what do you mean? Ah, 44, nice, MJ. Little deal. Da -di -da. Ouch. Got those explosions popping me, man. One shot. Now there's shock towers. Gonna die in this run. Okay, Dragon, can you explain to me which build you're doing? What is the problem exactly?
Ah, uh, Inner Raymond. They're talking about Inner Raymond, okay. I thought they mean the full Raymond set. Now, Inner Raymond, you don't need a generator for that. The Mystic Ally gives you resources. You can press Mystic Ally to get 200 resources. And you also have passive regeneration from, you know, rolls and mantra and the passive and stuff like that. I know the max are built. I mean, maybe put in a generator if you need, like, until they have better gear. Good luck, uh, sitting can. I think Mount of Retribution might be for extra damage for attack speed. You can also use the healing mantra that gives you a spirit per second dragon. You can use that if you need more resources. How's it How are you? I need to equip an alt. I level to 70, and then you can gamble blood shards from your main. And once you have a working set, you go to 16. It usually takes like a few hours of just like farming on your main and gambling on your alt. You can also speed it up with the crafting. Thanks for the prime. Let's take us. Why did I speak about double primordial? Yeah, you get two you get two primals every time one drops with the altar. There's an altar note, the last one. What is this? Oof. Probably want air damage now, but probably not on non-ancients. 
I'm not sure how squishy we will be. Hello? Okay, we go next floor, fuck it. No, you, on the Zunimasa build, you really want to equip the dagger. You don't want to equip the dagger. Attack speed is everything on Zunimasa. Did you missed the 4 Season 3 announcement? Not yet? Oh, thanks for Prime Dangle. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Kitten J, too. Prime Gamers, detected. We actually need 4 kills only to reset our spirit walk. It's been nice. Best way to start leveling without challenge cash. 
That's a pretty uh, complicated 16-step process, but you can read up on it on my leveling guide on Maxwell. I'll get all three potions, that's all I need. How do you get more damage for inner Raymond? Uh, I mean, one thing you can do is the Frostburn. Equipped or in a cube. More attack speed in general, like Flying Dragon for example, and attack speed in, in general and stuff like that. And I mean, It's not like a very powerful build, but it's good for farming. You can use like the offensive passives. Like we did with Lentus Assault and stuff like that. Momentum. So you get tricked to living on POJ Tempest Rush, it feels squishy. It's not a super squishy build. You can maybe try to run with Guardian set early on. It should help a lot. You don't really need like that much cooldown these days because you're CC immune. And you also have resource on crit. So you don't need Epiph Epiphany all the time. But yeah, rest is just like Epiphany uptime, Serenity uptime. Mantra, you can click that sometimes. Something better, yeah. How to farm many forgotten souls? Only normal rifts? Nah, visions gives you overall the most um, items. Visions is a bit better than greater rifts, and greater rifts is better than normal rifts in terms of XP uh, and, and items. Also, XP, I guess. <laughs> nah, great, greater rifts is the best there, but if you farm like greater rifts at this pace here, like two minute runs or less, you get a lot of loot. You can get, expect something like 400 legendaries an hour or so. In visions, you can go like 500, 600 maybe. Like if you farm at this pace I was doing here. Actually, I guess visions would be really good in groups. If you split farm visions, that could be pretty OP. 
Right, they're just gonna stay in the same game. Dude, I keep getting these insane air kill items. Look at that. Fuck, man. It's a sign. Yeah, I already salvaged a primal weapon and I salvaged all the other pieces. I'm not gonna play Eric here, man. I remember last time I just out of fort after like 20 minutes and deleted the set. I hate Eric here. It's so frustrating to play. Sometimes my ball of zombies is not going off, or uh, like one of death. No, I'm not going to push chicken. I don't like the chicken build either very much. I'm not a spider, so no, no Eric here. Thing about LOD Twister. Oh, very fun build. No pushing Necron, no. No Necron. Honestly, I can't really see myself playing Necro anytime soon. In other seasons as well. Maybe in like fourth cube season or something. Necro's gonna pop off, but. Maybe in season three. <laughs> yeah, in season three, I'm probably gonna play some Necro, that's true.
If I check a bit of this, this is Hell 2 Summy Bear. And that's what I'm farming with right now. Well, these days is also pushing apparently. But uh, yeah. It's pretty decent in GRs right now. With spiders, not be better. And it's just Omega nerfed spiders, so no. And Spider was almost already... I mean, it was okay, but it was relatively slow, and like it was hard to do like faster than three minutes on Spiders. I just hated the pace of Spiders. And you care more about gear than XP, so I want to go fast. Uh, what do we do? I can load a path a little bit. Do we need any other gems? Not for now, I guess. Extended like Gamble to Ancient Black Fawn Chest. Could have been my big Zunimasa. Is D2 dead, D3 dead, and D3 dead, D4 dead, everything is dead, yeah. Look, the Apple 3. Only 4 million people played it in last month. Dead game. The other 4. Only 5 million people. Oh man. Only 200k people online in the last hour. In the last week of the season. Glory. Diablo Immortal. <laughs> I wonder how many people they have playing. Probably more than both combined. Heck. We're playing a video. We're a video playing on YouTube to a superior life. Well, ah, possible.
I had full logs on half 50, yeah. Nobody on and has 150 clear. Uh, it's not ready yet, I think. But should be sometime today. Ah, oh, no, it's odd, actually. play rock now rock in my youth no nope. I don't know it even you want rainbow goblins there's a rainbow farming guide yeah that's like specific uh, zones where you can find goblins relatively worth well you can check that out that's some max on the resources which power level is required for god set to clear 150 I don't know exactly. I'd say at 3-4k it's probably becoming somewhat comfortable. I think I want to level a pain enhancer. Thank you for the link. <laughs> Have a good time, it's okay. Guess <laughs> it's getting demolished IL, now it's getting demolished in-game, man. Good luck. Actually, when I see Elden Ring DLC, 
Should be soonish, right? I heard there's something coming. Can't wait to play that. Twenty fifth of February. It's very soon, actually. It's not announced yet, or what? It's next month. Why are we talking about February twenty five? I, I am playing Diablo three. Sometimes I also play other games. Up thirtieth, okay. The truth burns you. Which sector feels so underwhelming now? Wait, why? I think which sector feels really good right now. What happened? It's crazy, man. I guess there's so many people waiting for DLC for Elden Ring. And apparently it's supposed to come next month. They haven't even announced it yet. What the fuck? It's kind of weird marketing. But they actually don't need Guardian after like 2k or so. But before that, they can run it. What you'll get? Lucky you. That will look nice on you. What? I didn't even Over know I had that service. Ah, uh, yes, I was up after one 2k paragon. Yeah, I mean, of course, if you're like, you know, playing very casually and you don't reach 2k, then he's gonna stick to Guardian.
Pendulum Belt and Wraps of Clarity. Uh, on God the Age, and you skip Wraps of Clarity, and you equip Death Diggers and Cube Hunter's Wrath. That's how you do it with Guardian sets. And then without Guardian, you have Wraps of Clarity. And your cube death diggers. And they actually go with um, focusing on strength and COE. No, Hamlin is a good boss for this. <laughs> with the on death explosion for the rats. Oh man. I could probably even work on 150 with a power pylon. You stand there and just like blast into Hamilton with the on death explosion. Kabow. Now we're just talking about Guardian and switching double kill for that's correct. You can also do all guilds. That's like for speedrunning. But for pushing. Yeah, I mean, in speedruns, you can do all guilds as well if you don't like to play around COE. That's what people do as well. I'll try pushing it COE later. And no other set. Uh, Excel sheet with the tier list for AOZ maps, Greg, that's in the description on YouTube. I have a bunch of links there, check it out. Under 210 speed. That's the amount that you can play three different builds right now. There's Impale, God, and Yui. We're all good for that.
I got lucky with my alpha craft. I got it in my first batch. I crafted four and my first one was ancient. <laughs> Body craft is pretty unlucky. I'm streaming tomorrow. Is that an interesting question? The answer is yes. The answer is always yes. How many ice guns did I run? Uh, not too many. Killed Shiltara like seven, eight times or something. So a bit below average. Luck. Very nice. Two of them. I'm never lucky with those witching hours, man. How many primes have I gotten this season? I didn't count them, but they probably had like 30 or so. Only I turned out a lot stronger than I expected. Yeah, I expected. Mean, yeah, I'm also surprised to see it that strong. So I guess that's going to remain the meta for now, and in, in a few thousand paragons, people's going to push on a 50 with double crusader, right? <laughs> Just get a power pylon, one minute run, easy. It's hilarious. Yeah, I guess like, you know, the other team compositions are just going to be like, first few days, and then it's going to be double Seda everywhere at the top. Surprisingly good. How are the lags with, with the with the Crusaders? Is it very laggy? Should be laggy, I guess, on the higher tiers. But I guess once they start killing stuff in one two minutes, it's fine. Not really. Interesting. Now I wonder if that would still be possible outside of Soul Shard season. Soul Shard season is probably the strongest season that we're gonna get. I mean, Soul Star Season is the strongest season, right? So... Uh, I guess for, for the, uh, the, the Pony Seder, if they bring back Ephir... Uh, not Ephir, uh, Sanctified, they're gonna have double auto fist, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be pretty wild too, I guess. <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious, actually. Uh, Dragon, my streaming times change a little bit, depending on, you know, where we are. 
with the season and stuff. So right now, early season is always like all day, every day, starting in the morning EU. And uh, when I have like chill streams, usually I do like, you know, four, five, seven hours or so in the evenings, starting in the afternoon. But yeah, for now we're doing like 16 hour days or so. Today at least, maybe tomorrow as well. Although tomorrow I have some stuff to do, so I guess we're looking at like 12 hours tomorrow or so. Because I need to record some videos and some stuff. I haven't recorded anything last two days. I want to get some videos out before we go into D4 Frenzy. I want to talk about last epoch and D3. I see a dragon. Hopefully that the power pile run out. Around 75. Well, keep grinding. Good luck. WTF is juice, man. Hello. Two years, man. Thank you. How are you doing? I have orc like four pieces on the scale right now. That's okay. So waiting for more upgrades.
If you're super squishy as the age and you are 80s, are you running Marauder still? And Marauder is squishy until it gets always secret. So try to work on that. When you can say that's just Evans, yep. Okay, Reaper, what's up? This build is uh, held to some bears. Yes, yeah, seriously, that's correct. You don't need poison damage on the weapon. But you should have it at least on your follower's weapon, so you can stack it on a boss. About five minutes on a tennis season for XP. That's no, okay. It's pretty much what I'm doing. Maybe a bit faster. Now there's a Twitch add-on for uh, seeing the gear, but we have to do put it manually, so I can only put like a, a defeat pad there or so. And usually that add-on breaks at the start of a season, so it's. Yeah, there needs to be some API updates, some Blizzard and whatever, and um, yeah. Stack of dots is not good enough. Oh wait, Sunimasa. No, wait, we need Death Stickers, right? Yeah, I can't wear the pants. That's a very good question, Tatelogus. <laughs> I'm gonna remove that. I guess you can equip just about anything. Yeah, because I, I removed Vault from a lot of Demon Hunter builds, going from non-season to season because of Altar. 
And yeah, you actually have Chain of Shadows in the build, and that's removed now. So I don't know, you can do like Crowns or St. Archius or something if you want. What's that can on guards? What's T lag? How does movement speed work? You have max movement speed in Paragon and Altar. I can get 25% from Paragon or Gear combined. That's the movement speed cap. But all other effects go over that cap. It's just that you can't have Gear plus Paragons more than 25. Covers out of the air. Could have an OD just in case. Yeah, you don't put move speed on the boots. You want to get it from Paragons and have something else there. Okay, let me see that real quick here. Yeah. Let's talk about Chain of Shadows. Let's talk about it here. Okay. Nah, I was gonna fix this later. What about the non-season variant? I guess this is, is yeah, non-season is the same. Okay. Yeah, I just changed the vault to sh a smooth screen, like most other Demon Hunter builds. And then didn't change that. Got a new king in Denmark. Oh, congratulations. Don't try top 1dh, what is that question? What does that mean? Looks good enough to me. Am I still the only Natalia? 
Wait, what? Oh, no, some people are some people are out of here now. <laughs> yeah, yesterday it looked really funny. Yeah. <laughs> the only clear. Dude, there's not even one in softcore, man. He has one guy. 1900 already, holy. Is he doing ring of fire or hatred? Hatred. Primal Slayer. Wait, he got both items primal. Wait, why did he. What? There's not a crafted primal. He doesn't have a crafted primal. What the fuck? <laughs> he didn't make one. <laughs> he said he has a shitty ring. Oh, this amulet, man. Look at this amulet. He didn't make a primal. No, the offhand? What? It's a normal offhand. It's a normal offhand. This is how a primal uh, crafted looks. <laughs> Green arrow gamer. I did in nine and a half minutes though, pretty good. Why didn't he not make a primal, man? Literally first try. Any convention would be better than what he has. Like one try. Maybe he only gets good primal drops so he doesn't have to primal dust. Dude, he's 19 on a paragon. There's no way he doesn't have to dust. But yeah, I mean, he had a primal demon's demise and a primal attire slayer equipped. So maybe you guys are right. <laughs> he just doesn't get any good primals. <laughs> But yeah, at 1900 Paragons, you're gonna have dust, like, no way. I mean, okay, this was a group player, so maybe he also dropped primals. But not even having dust to make, like, a single item is, is kind of weird, you know. And then just going for 150 push, I mean. <laughs> the potato early season clear and all, but kind of strange choice anyway, I think. Maybe you got a better primal than the crafted one he used. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then he's gonna salvage it. Like if if you craft one and then you get a better one, then you just salvage your crafted one. And there you go. The thing is, you know, it, it doesn't cost him anything. He could just had had a better COE, for example, or a better amulet or something. I mean, okay, amulet is not guaranteed, but the COE is guaranteed better than whatever he had. He had like a typical crit crit main stat COE. And CV always has socket, always has crit, and always has main stat. So all he has to do is make a primal, and he has a better one. I'm right, looking for magic missile. Yeah, magic missile is uh, only in sanctified season. There's no magic missile. I mean, I mean, if you really want, you can, I guess, but I wouldn't recommend. Wait for the Sanctifieds to come back. But the DMO is actually going to be pumping with Magic Missile when this season comes back. This might actually be the strongest Missile build then. What else did I have in Sanctified season? Oh man. Actually, my Sanctified season is going to be pretty wild. Now with all the buffs and the altar and stuff, 
Uh, some builds gonna be really popping off, like the Shockwave Holder, man. Holy dude. Shockwave Holder is probably gonna be like the best build. He's walking to Fizzle Misery. You hammer 10 times. The entire map explodes. And that's the run. Impair spin to win, yeah. Impair spin to win is going to be pretty good. It's not going to be as good as Hoda, though. I mean, Hoda is already a better build without spinning. And Hoda probably benefits more than spin to win, Impair even. I think spin to win, we calculated, was like 7 or 8 tiers for Impair. And I think the Shockwave is kind of on a similar power level for Hoda. But yeah, Spin to Win Impale is going to be ridiculous as well. Like, whenever Sanctified Season comes around, Spin to Win Impale, like, straight, <laughs> straight from the 1 into Hadric, into a great out of 50 push, dude. No stopping. What's fun to play in the 3D season? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think the horse stater might be pretty wild as well in the sanctified season. You're gonna have double auto fists. I talked about this earlier. It's gonna be ridiculous as well. I think the auto fist was also really strong. But it doesn't exactly like buff the entire build now. It's gonna get like extra fists. So I wonder like how that would actually like affect the the build exactly. But it's probably like at least double damage or so, I guess. So another five tiers. Maybe more. For the fist data. Casual player, what's the better class? Monk or Witch Doctor? Monk. I strike at your heart. Had a unique freestyler. 5,284 damage per second, is that high? And a Vaughmonger. <laughs> Yeah, I think two-handed swords have the highest DPS in the game. If you if you roll a damage percent and attack speed, and uh, you put a, a soul shard with attack speed or damage percent in it, I think attack speed actually. Yeah, I can get like a pretty high value. I did that actually for the memes when season twenty-five PDR came around with the soul shards. I did actually exactly that on a Warmonger. I made a YouTube video for it. It was something like close to 6k DPS or so. I mean, it's not good. No, it's not. It's because it's a Warmonger. Any weapon DPS doesn't matter that much compared to actually having the right weapon, so you never use that. But it's funny. Actually, let me see. YouTube.
Ah, uh, here. <laughs> okay, actually way more. 7,509. I was a blackguard, not a warmonger. I think both actually roll a certain damage stat, right? I think I did it on this one because it always has 10% damage. Let me see. No, this is random. Okay, so Blackguard has 10% damage. Okay, that's why. Yeah, 7509. Thirty-eight, act one bounties got a winger for a Granger. What the? Wait, you did it on T sixteen with double bounties. Okay, got three four points higher in the video. Yeah, I think the soul shot wasn't absolutely perfect. I tried to make like, I don't know, 100 soul shards or something, and at some point I just said, okay, enough. So I had the perfect weapon and I was missing like, uh, a, a f like I think, two damage on the soul shard or something like that. But the, the damage is like a really large range. I think it's like 250 to 300 or something. Can you see that here? No. There's a pretty large range on the blood damage on the soul shards. So at some point I just like stopped rolling them. Build for early level 70 on which doctor? Uh, I'm not sure what's the Hades gift, but it should work towards the Hades gift. What is it actually? In Bob, clear hundred fifty. Uh, yes. Pretty sure that has happened already, like around a day ago or so. Or nearly. Could have at least. But with Barb, we can do it on at least six different builds. Probably more. Did I try out Garks that held with buff? No. But Garks are not that far behind Stormy Bears as far as I know. 
I don't like the Gox playstyle that much though. Fuck man, we are streaming almost 10 hours a day. Time is flying when you play Witch Doctor. My gear is nowhere near ready, man, for a push. That's bad. I'm gonna start collecting a few items to potentially Yodel reforge them into Ancients. Zuni and Helltooth. My friend, this is uh, Hell Tooth, Sambo Bears. What do you mean with any more, Venti?
Oh, since I got robot hands, okay. <laughs> I know how to use that mouse wheel. All my thoughts on Shadow Clone build. I say stay far away from that. Under all circumstances. I used to have Shadow Clone in the Rapid Fire build, that later became the Rain of Arrows build. But with all the f new things we learned over time, yeah, forget about Shadow Clone for now. Until they do a major fix on many mechanics. It's just like bugged in 27 different ways that I'm no brand new. So is a meteor still the best solo push or wizard? Uh, LOD meteor, yeah. Pull up all the crawlers. Bless Shield S Crusader. Yeah, as far as I know, Bless Shield is pretty good now with the buffs and stuff. And got like some massive AoE damage improvement, I think. I wonder what the highest clears on Bless Shields. I imagine most people are playing Arcan or Bless of the Heavens right now. This is really the last season of Diablo 3. Yeah, just like the last season and the season before that.
Which Dr. Push is gonna be... Whoa. Wait a minute. Why am I so squishy suddenly? Oh, let's pick up the cat. Can do this. Wait. Actually, we can do this, right? Yes. Easy. Anyway. Uh, which actor push is gonna be... This build and... Zunimasa. I wanna do Zunimasa first, uh, 50. And then we're gonna do a Helltooth. I'm not a chicken. I'm not planning to become a chicken. to Brazil. I'm stronger to 8 house to get off the buff. I think it was like 7 or 8 GRs. But I mean, it started very low, so it's not the greatest. I finished the altar. Around 40 hours ago. That's where I get Hellforge Embers as Visions. I think bosses don't have like a higher chance to drop them or something, so it's just like a random drop. I changed those resets on Monday evening for NA, and on EU it's Tuesday morning. I think on EU we have to wait around 18 hours more from season start to challenge rift. So almost a full day, basically extra for EU. Best pizza for Necro. LOD Nova. Could also try Pestilence. Pestilence might be good enough.
This is not the PTR, no. There are no more PTRs in this game. In fact, in any Diablo game at this point. PTR no longer exists in the Diablo franchise. Toughness do you need to not die in 150? Uh, depending on the build. Usually between like 1 to 3 billion or so. If he buffs up. Never lucky, man. Best place of visions, weeping all over, festering woods. I could like it to 70 primal. Not very often, but it has happened. I mean, the 70 primal exists for a long time already. are not capped, Sergio. Uh, Poison can't give combat now. It was only in the PTR for season 28. <laughs> now it also removed Power Pylon. It used to have Power Pylon and Empower Shrine. They removed both. I'm kind of time to rewatch Witching Hour at some point. Maybe we're gonna start gambling uh, gloves again or something. What else do we need actually? Some boots. Maybe we're gonna go for uh, boots. Or we can also reforge those. How much can we reforge? We 3000 souls, that's not very much, but that's uh, 60. Okay, so six ancients we can mark, make roughly. I think Witching Hour It's maybe like a 1 in 2 or 1 in 3 to be good. Boots should be 
maybe a one in, yeah, it's one, one in one and a half or so. That's very low chances for boots to be bad, I guess. Although we do want Aures and Armor on the boots. With no secondary res, so it's more like one in two. Okay, what else is missing? We got the helm, that's good. We got the, I think we got the chest. I'm missing Death Digger still. I need better Death Diggers. I'm gonna gamble pants, I guess. And there's not many pants anyway, so we can try to gamble those. The one sock pants. I'm actually going without socks today. Let me play Zuni, Death Daggers. Best in slot stats is In Vitality, Armor, Poison Art. No sock. I've not played Grim Dawn really. Only once. You can find my imminent on tile, but I use 150. Yes, you can. There's a guide on next on Maxwell. How many primers do I have? Like 30 or something. It didn't count. Hello. You look fancy. Oh. Thank you. We got tea, guys. I almost died, yeah. But we got tea. So, worth it. Did 
Gemstone has 20% drop rate. If you're running for two hours, you are either very slow or very unlucky. Maybe both. Two hours, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Huge leg to uh, hell to of legs, which you probably don't need. Just the hardcore monk in visions. Unlucky, but you know what they say. We go again. You have NGM Monk. Two hours for a gemstone, man, holy. Yeah, it's 20% drop rate. I think the cave is like 60% spawn rate. And Shitara spawn is like 50 50, I think, or something. So it's like. Uh, two out of three. Is, it's 33. It's like every time you make a game, it's like. I don't know. One in. 15 or something to get it. It's not bad actually. And every time you go into the cave, it's like a 1 in 8 or something. One in 10, I guess, every time you go into the cave. It's better to act two and three at the same time, or just focus one at a time. Uh, usually do one act at a time. It's not really a reason to do two at the same time. No, sorry. We're never gonna try energy with light. Ah, very likely, never again. I've done a build more than enough in my life.
<laughs> can't run. <laughs> Hello. What class would I have loved to see added in the three? Eh? Uh, Druid. I think Druid been, could have been very fun here. I think I'll in the four. I'm not unhappy. I'm really glad I brought back shape shifting. A lot of cool stuff. Hope they're gonna add fire spells to Druid at some point as well in the four. Petrified screams drop. Only in greater rifts, so maybe you just haven't done enough greater rifts. It's a 5% chance. Is Monk any good? Yes. Just like all the other classes. To say about season 30. Good season. Turns out the game is actually very fun when the game is balanced. Who would have thought? Take it from this and do it in D4. Whoa. Give them another decade, okay? Look, that's fist look. Best split for Crusader is uh, Fist of Heavens and I can't. Might be on Mars during Worlds first and before. Yeah, good question, actually. Like, when we have our colony on Mars, is it gonna be like World first or is it gonna be like Mars first? I guess you say Mars. 
Or is that considered your world? And then you say world's first anyway. Well, then you say world's first on Mars. Questions, man. Universe first. I mean, that also won't hold for long, though. I mean, at some point we're gonna be colonizing, you know, so far into the galaxy and stuff that we won't actually really have, like, real communication. So how do you even know your universe first? Reality first. <laughs> You just know. Yeah, well. I guess you don't really have to verify it, right? If you can't verify it, you just say universe first. Definitely makes for good clickbait on YouTube. Who knows if it's universe first? Now, I guess the bigger question is how do you actually... How do I actually coordinate the logistics of releasing a new Diablo 3 season across the entire galaxy at the same time? I think that's the bigger problem. <laughs> Just warp facts. Uh, that sounds easy. You'll know when some anger aliens come knocking at the door. It's a Mars transfer hard. Oh yeah, I guess Mars will probably be its own region, so they're gonna have their own challenge rift. It's light here, fiber optic cable. <laughs> it would be funny. I wonder if we're ever gonna... I wonder how feasible it is. Probably, it's probably not feasible. But let's, uh, let's assume you somehow like gather enough resources. Like... I wonder if we're ever going to build something between, like, two solar systems or something, you know, any kind of structure or connection or cable or whatever. But I guess it's not really realistic. The distances are too great and you have, like, too much shit going on. And everything is in movement, so I guess it doesn't really work. I guess, nah, no, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't work. And then you have like also the universe expanding. So I guess that will that alone will probably just like mess up anything that you're trying to build at such a long scale, right? We're talking about like literally light years long. That's a really big structure. Giving up one billion years ahead of time. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe at some point someone is gonna do it just for the memes. Let's see what happens. The solar system is not light years long. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm talking between, between star systems, right? Like from here to Alpha Centauri. Can we put a cable? So 
Sama o čem povedz. Vždyť je to největší Bluetooth v univerzu. Oh man. I wonder if you're ever gonna actually build a device to have like instantaneous communication at least. My fucking god, I got another rank. 114. Woohoo. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Moon King, thank you for the two months. I also can't wait, it's gonna be fun. I think everyone's gonna go already, right? It's a really good one. You look like you could use a new item or to use gold. Well, I cannot carry one. more. One thousand S latency on the moon. Actually, almost playable. But like a strategy game or something, or half stone, I guess. Can play chess. Dude, chess is like a game that will probably forever survive. I think even in like 10,000 years, people are gonna play chess. At some point, someone's gonna make a chess board that will consist of stars, just for the memes. And you move around entire stars. What will go wrong? Moon rank one. It's kind of funny to think that they have plans to colonize Mars, but not the moon. I mean, okay, there are probably plans, but it seems like Mars is happening first. And it's not even far in the future. Yeah, moon has no atmosphere, but I mean... It will take ages until the Mars atmosphere is usable in any way as well. If you want to terraform it. Right, we're probably looking at least at like a century or something. With current technology or more. If enough resources are spent on it, which will probably take a while. In 2025 they will land on the moon and 
Yeah, do they, do they actually want to build a, a base on Mars? Uh, sorry, on the moon? When? The Chinese want to. Hey, Pudding. Invoker is pretty decent, yeah. Need a mask for Mars President. It's gonna happen, man. <laughs> Make Mars great again. Oh, man. We can shoot Trump to Mars, man. Let's go. Let's destroy another planet. It's not really much to destroy on Mars. Right now it's just like dunes and rock. But first we terraform it, make it great, and then we can destroy it. Easy. Mars is the god of war. Oh, holy. Uh, double crossbow versus crossbow and cover is nearly equal. And mostly depends on your exact stat distribution. Well, there might be some breakpoint shenanigans now. But even that is actually very minor. But you can at least check that out with like Frenzy Shrine versus not and stuff. But realistically, I don't think it matters that much. You just use whatever you have better. Sometimes when you find skeletons on Mars, doesn't mean you have to return the remains to the owner. I think it may be a bit difficult to actually identify the owner. It would be funny though.
don't forget, luck always changes. Serious, absolutely toxic. The raw is a good quiver. Yeah, I agree. Weapon is way easier to get. I always throw emoji on the ground because I'm not a cruel monster. I don't take the hammer and just melt the cat. Would that mean that we're still alone in the universe if there are bones on Mars? Likely not, I guess. But I think it's also very unlikely we're going to discover any kind of skeletons on Mars. Push of Zeus? Uh, you can, yes. You can do Pain Hands or Zeus. I guess with Finger Fire, you're probably gonna go for Pain Hanser. Also, helps a lot of healing and stuff like that. You generally close range with this. But you can also place long range, especially with all of Zombies. You can push enemies around with all of Zombies and then blast into them from range. Which is relatively strong.
600. Ja, das ist nicht sehr viel. Gibt's aber noch. Hmm, only two billion gold left. I should save some to... Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna go into the age again later to do uh, gem ups. Should be easier on the Natalia. Oh, das hat's erst vergeben. Sven has something bears become a real build. Ah, it was a real build like I don't know, five seasons now at least or something. I, mean, they, I don't know, they made this outfit at some point and buffed this weapon. But that's like years ago at this point. I think it was earlier than that, was it 22? 23? I don't know. Another Prime. Thanks, Foxy, as well. Appreciate it, guys. I found a 59 keys. I still have, like... Uh, we're probably doing something like 20, 25 runs an hour right now. So that's like 6 hours of TRs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend some muscle off him, by the way. That's twenty percent fetish, but the rest is fine, actually. I'll take that. Oh, my gear is yellow again. What happened now? My COE, man. 23 out of 42 durability. What the? Oh, 
Why is it always my rings breaking, by the way? Oh, my weapon is well, 18. My gear is just breaking, man. Song is night stuff. Drive by stalking. Night stop, drive by stalking. Tried Unhold Essence Demon Hunter set. I have, yes. It's pretty good. I've done a blue or yellow item only run. Uh, I've done a white item only run. I considered a blue, but that is extremely obnoxious to get the items that you want. And. I've done yellow. I've done yellow items two times. I've cleared a GR70 with yellows in season 20 with Tempest Rush. And then again in season 22 with Hanging Arrow. I did a GR70 push on both. That was fun. Oh, yeah, right. And also in season 28, we had the hardcore uh, community event. One of the challenges was also. Yellow item clear. And I think. What did we do? It was also like 70 something or something. I think a bit higher than 70 with uh, one Seder. If I remember correctly. That's the idea, time for speed GRs. Between two and three minutes usually. This build here has a lot of variants. It's like very uh, abnormal, this build, because of the Slummy Bears being stuck in some maps. Like here, this was a 230 run, and my fastest run earlier was 114. It's a huge difference between good and bad maps. This is not normal. Usually the variance is smaller. How many people are playing SSF in EU? Oh, there's, there's a bunch of people. I mean, SSF is definitely smaller, I guess. But, uh, Softcore DH, 1000. Almost a thousand barbs. A thousand satyrs. A thousand necros. Seven thirty witch doctors. Six hundred wizards and hardcore. I mean, there's not much here. Hundred. Two hundred. Not fifty. I guess it's like more of the problem that there's just not many people in general. Look, yeah. Normal hardcore monk, 460. So it's actually equal solo versus normal hardcore. It's like slightly more people doing group hardcore than solo. I guess in softcore there's more group players in general. Yeah, for example, Demon does have entry level 116, and on solo it's 95, and 116 is like top 250. Barb, entry level 1, entry level 96, and 96 is like also around top 250, uh, top 200. And here, into level 11, into level 105, 
Kind of five is like top 200. Okay, it seems like there's a pattern. 13. Not two. For Necros are kind of top 150. Yeah, so if I had to guess, there's probably between 10 to 20 percent people playing SSF. Then this, like judging from the leaderboards, there, it's not a small number to be fair. Like on softcore, and then hardcore is actually almost 50 50 between SSF and group players. Hardcore in EU seems to be more versus US. Yeah, I mean, US is like. Like, there, there's no hardcore competition at all, as far as I know. Hardcore is very ditch in in, in, in NA, and in Asia as well. There's never really been, like, much going on on hardcore, as far as I know, in both regions. Outside of the, uh, maybe a handful of people that really try. What inner items do you not get from gifts? Uh, you get everything. As a UE, Modishad, even after you got Ignore Vitality and Paragons, you can go for main stat. Yeah, I mean, if you're not dying, you do that. If you're dying, then you get more Vitality. That's like for you to decide. The so Vitality and Paragons is a good way to make any build more tanky if you're struggling. This is the OG, AOZ. Yes. This is like a 90 is the best way to for primal. Yeah. If you can not slow down very much, you can go all the way up to 100. Eternity still gets slightly more loot. I just realized that if I want to give my followers very defensive pants, I should actually go for black fonts, right? Because I have an extra stat. I never gave black fonts pants to any of my followers, even when I tried to make them live. Like an all skills relic mod follower. But it's actually the play. You have an extra stat there. If you roll off the elemental damage. Playing hell to saw me better. Does ballistics talent work with the rocket storm rule on strafe? It does, but the rocket storm on strafe or gaudy hunter is not used for the rocket damage. The rocket is only there to proc more hanging arrows. Strafe itself is strafe itself does no damage. Which other build will get 150 easier this season? Well, Helltooth has done it already. Which is probably also the most like casual friendly to do it. It's relatively strong and easy. The strongest is Zunimasa. It's 
So that should probably blow Helltooth away very soon. But it's not very easy. Uh, well... I don't think I really care about anything anymore, right? Besides Black Up Gems, but let's just say I'm not gonna rip. Not ripping is nice, so... It's, I don't know, it's gonna make a tango, cause why not? Top stay down soft code 2.6k paragon already. Yeah, I mean it's uh Sunday evening. 3k. That's how it works. Gems of cap reach a point where chance is so low, it's basically a cap. Not gems of no cap. Ah. Every gem is capped. They're capped at 150. So you can always upgrade them with 60% 60, 60 all the way to 150. But yeah, there used to be uh, the so called 1%. That was a strategy. There were like several, like you know, back in the early seasons, the game was actually much more diverse in like how you progress your character, because ge perfect gear wasn't guaranteed even for playing the entire season for hundreds of hours, and your gem ups, you know, you could never finish your gems because you couldn't reach 150. So the effective cap was your gems could be leveled up to 15 levels higher than your clear that you were doing. with uh, so-called 1% runs. So back then there was no empowering and there was no uh, plus one gem up for not dying, so you had three tries per run. So you needed 33 GRs for one upgrade on the gem. So if you wanted to get plus 15 levels, starting at like, I don't know, probably five levels above and then up to 15, so I have to do this 10 times 1% upgrades. So it's like 330 runs per gem on the highest tier you could clear. And then that was like one one way of like progressing a character that people were doing. The other one was farming more paragons, but that was extremely slow back then. And the other way was farming bounties for like just farming gear and rifts to get better gear. So it's actually like much more interesting in like how you progress a character, I guess. Because you had the option to do this or that or this. But right now, the only thing you do is Great Earths, basically. I mean, okay, I don't only do Great Earths right now. I was also farming Visions earlier, but I should not farm Visions, really. The strat would be to just skip Visions basically entirely, outside of getting a few bounty mats. And then always stick to Great Earths. This is how you actually gear up if you want to try hard. Yeah, right, there were also no boss runs, exactly. You did no boss runs to farm XP back then. Because there were no good enough boss killers to actually 
clear the, the, the Rift Guardian in a good enough time. And turning in the Rift didn't give much XP. So people just didn't kill the boss and left. Visions are slower to get keys, yeah. They're kind of bad now. You get a few keys, but very little. Oh, hey, I say I'm already. One percent gamer stock arrive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it used to be pretty fun actually doing one percent interrupts, because every once in a while it would hit that one percent and it would feel so good, you know. Even though your character only got like zero point two percent stronger, but it feels good, you know. It was like something that was like somewhat reliable to farm, but you know, with enough RNG involved to make it feel like really good when it actually hit. I remember to keep a, a gem for my follower. I guess the sword has is somewhat easy to actually keep your follower alive these days. Easy augments. Huge pants. There goes my enchantress. Yeah, you can. Uh, is it possible to keep a follow up without enforcer? Yeah, for speedruns, it's quite possible. In pushing, it's not worth trying, I think. I tried it, like, uh, two times, I think, and it didn't work out. Even if I can Omega juice up follower. If you play, like, Frenzy Barb, maybe, because you have, like, the double war cry and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's, like, probably the only way to actually do that. Have some insane, like, you know, group buffs or something. And even then, it yeah, might die, so... But yeah, speedruns, you can definitely do a follower setup that uh, lives. Although, usually, I don't care enough. I just put, uh, cannot die, and, you know, it's like, whatever. Even run Templar right now, you know, Templar is not a speed follower, but I just use it anyway because I'm playing hardcore. It's better on hardcore.
Your evil undoes you. Best class and build this season. Uh, best class is probably Necro, and best build is probably. Uh, I think if we calculated it would be Zuni, but I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it's not really a build that really wins. Anymore these days. I mean, some season themes might do that with Sanctified or so, but. or with Ethereals. Actually, it feels gonna be pretty wild when they come back. Like, some build's gonna have like double resource on crit or something. Right? Monk has the resource on crit and from the altar as well. It's gonna be very funny. Which sword is best to get primal on this? Huh? The HPF not the bow primal. Uh, the the offhand, the demon's demise. Weapons are always a good target for primal. And then you can also do uh, the convention, de for example. I can make a specific primal you want with recipe 11 in the cube. Start.
Ja, war so glad, dass nur alle anfangen, Items in Default. I don't like that we can't look at items on the ground, though. I wanna press a hotkey and look at it. your heart. Oh my god. That's the little things in life, huh? Four upgrades, wow. Uh, winning? I don't know. Right now I'm chilling, buy me some gear. And it's looking real bad right now. In like three hours without any upgrade or something. Yikes.
still missing like four items per build or so. Uh, maybe the Reforge will save me. We had 4,000 souls. <laughs> How many people did you have today that came in here and said, Man, I can't find Rarotny, I'm in Paragon 600. It's always at 600 that people start complaining. How, how is that? Most time consuming task this season is finding gems for augments. Uh, you can just farm the soul shards from Butcher and the Auric and Darkling of Tristan. Like every run is like an augment or something. Die umgedrehte 600. <laughs> Yeah, as I said, if you need gems, farm Darkening of Tristram. Actually, I want to see exactly where is Leroric. Except he said Leroric is also important. I was just farming Butcher last time. You can salvage the soul shards into normal gems. That's what you do. To upgrade the shards to get the most profit, only when you augment them. So you go to level 2. It looks very slow. But enough, even though I'm running like this. Dark Passage is not very really right? No. Perfect, we got a Fleeting Shrine. So here's Butcher. Hello, Katze. So, is it 50-50 to salvage this into a Flawless Royal? I'm not sure what are the chances. My god, doing this as a witch doctor is kinda awful though. Okay. Here's King Norg's tomb. So we have 40 now. Yeah, that's one augment and a bunch of Imperials. Meow.
Yeah, I mean, it takes like one or two minutes to get enough gems for an augment. That's pretty good. If you, any, if you ever need more gems, you just do this for like, you know, 15 minutes or whatever and you're fine. Oh, speaking of set uh, of season journey, I need to do a set dungeon here. The switch doctor. And a bunch of the bosses. Should probably do that before I forget. Now where's the hell tooth set dungeon? Act one royal crypt. Ah, oh, interesting. I think I get out of uh, my. Oh, wait, there's an elite, okay. Holy shit, where's the entrance? enemies. The truth burns you. Oh, the death blow. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, how do these guys die? Did I hit something with my locust swarm? Apparently. Okay. Success! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It's 
Scouts are dying from thorns. Failed! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Okay, anyway, fuck it. Let's go. Oh, I can't change it. You only have to complete it, right? We don't have to master it, so let's go. Thanks for bosses didn't drop anything multiple times. We should do it on high difficulty. I think that increases our chances. And yeah, Act 3. I think Act 3 and Act 4 have like 50 50 to drop 0 or 2. If I'm not mistaken. I'm actually slow, man. Look at this shit. We have only two minutes. Actually, I realized the map is very similar to the Marauder map. Not sure what to make of this. Kill zero monsters with what? Complete one objective and kill zero monsters within time limits. Wait, do we have to? Do one objective? What the fuck? Apparently. We failed to run. Interesting. Wait, is that normal? Do we always have to complete at least one objective? Or is that just in this dungeon? What the hell? Why did I do this? Okay, and get this movement speed. Uh, Shot of Hatred, Boots, Altar, Spirit Walk. I'm playing large pulse there, to be honest. Oof, that was close.
need more torment here. 16 too easy. So that he can teleport to town seven times per vision run instead of three times. Yes. Let's go. That will be very fun. Okay, do we have to uh, have to kill like Zelda King or something? Gone, Asmodan. Asmodan again? Well, Gone, Asmodan. Siegebreaker, Mouth L. Rakanov. Diablo. Isn't PoE2 having that? But I wish I double the sisters held with some bears. Is so where Archon using Zayce as a melee focus build? Because there's no other damage gem that makes sense. So some melee builds use Zayce. And you get the first benefit of Zayce at 0 yards, not at 10 yards, as the tooltip says. So you minimum have 16% damage, and then you have 32 on 10 yards. And I think the range of Shantoda is even... I think it's 25 yards, so I can even get a second bonus on some targets. So I can get up to 48. Was my season ah, much more successful than I had hoped? It was pretty fun. It's the best team on the build. Any specific season goals before I go back to other games? Yeah, Zuni on a 50, Hell to on a 50. And then maybe I'm gonna mess around with some of the off meta sets or so. If I still play a lot tomorrow. I guess tomorrow I'm gonna do another long stream. And then Tuesday we're going to do a bit, and then we're going to start prepping for Diablo 4. If they announce enough, at least on Tuesday, to go with. Roll and sweep. Yeah, I really like roll and sweep. But I don't really want to make a crusader just to play Roland right now. 
We have Roland Seed, but bring a fire. That would be cool, actually. Rob said it will be a long one. How does Rob know it's a long fire chat on, on Thursday? Rob person. <laughs> okay, that Rob. <laughs> That's not how his name is spelled. Ah, uh, is he gonna die from the summon bears? No, oh, probably. Takes too long. Ah, oh, shit, we've got Rakanov. Belt? That could be a witching hour. No. Oh shit, wait a minute. Don't have a follower. Alright, they can TP while invisible, that's cool. Okay. What did we get? Oh, we had that already. F. I guess there's no new season journey stuff anymore, as realized, right? So I never have to do the season journey again. Turns out. Sucks he used the cash at the start, now he's just sitting and waiting. <laughs> well, I told you guys. Who else? <sighs> From the fucking season journey, man. Okay. That's, that's a big drop. <laughs> I 
I'll save this helm just in case. I think we could get away without skill damage on zombie bears. Just gonna crit. Because they have so much skill damage already with like Essence of Anguish 50%, Weapon uh, 80%, so we've hundred thirty Offend. Boots. Piranha. We like need a 300% damage, so it might actually be worth just keeping Vitality on the helm. Which means it makes it very easy to actually get a helm, that is good. So, pants done. Now, do we have a Zuni chest? I don't think I have one yet, do I? No Zuni chest. Maybe we should gamble the chest for now. Oh, wait, I saw one there. Okay, it's ancient, but it has no secondaries. I don't like that very much. Nothing on secondary. But I guess it's usable. Okay, so do we gamble the glove then? What else? We're missing the boots still. Thing for both actually, right? Hell tooth. I have no boots for either. Okay, as long as we still need both boots, I'm gonna gamble boots. They are both, I guess. No, no, unlucky. Yes, the ancient zombie charger, fifteen percent boots. Uh huh. Did we change anything on our setup? No, no. Okay. Can we move to Paragon Changes? Yes. We're playing Rathma 2016. Oh boy. You can actually do that. It's not that terrible. You go Explosion Gem. Full cooldown everywhere. You can do it in Geom and Messerschmitt. It might be enough damage anyway. And then the Rune Dead Storm, or whatever it's called. So you can cast it and then run for 5 seconds and everything around you explodes. As long as you cast every five seconds, you're fine. But outside of that, yeah, um, I guess Mages is the best on Autolancer. Autolancer is so strong now that he can go like full ham on cooldown, like Ingeo and Messerschmitt, and just fly if you want. You liked being done at 800, Paragon. Well, now you're done at 20,000. Good luck. What the easiest yeah, 150 this season, solo. Yeah, Nova, Hoda. Probably Akan. I guess Akan is relatively easy to play as well. Should be tanky enough this season to not feel like super shit. And you can walk through enemies, which is pretty nice actually. I think Akan is relatively easy. Like, I really hated Akan where you get like stuck all the time and stuff, but you don't get stuck anymore as a Crusader, which is really useful.
We're missing the dodge button now. Yeah, everyone does. Took me 10 hours to stop pressing space. Isn't passability in the altar. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, now you have altar, you don't get stuck anymore on any build. Like, you know, stuff like I can't con condemn. Like, without uh, your iron skin up, you just get stuck, for example. And if, for example, you, you couldn't press shield buttons because then you get stuck. And stuff like that. Because you can't get hit and can't walk through enemies when they hit you when iron skin is up. Similar for like Kevin's Fury, they had the same problem. But now you can just walk into position on everything. Which is very helpful. Like, you know, also stuff like uh, Natalia. Like, now you don't need Vault anymore. And without Vault, now you can run Smokescreen. Uh, sorry, you can run uh, Shadow Power. And you're suddenly much tankier and. It's also like, you know, much better to control your character because you, you never have to vault, you know, you never get stuck. You know, you pull enemies to you, you don't get stuck. But you can just like walk around, get in position, you can walk into the Oculus ring, you don't have to vault in there and then vault again if it misses. It's so good. Like all these like melee builds and all these builds are like, you know, pull stuff a lot. It's really good to have passability. It just allows you to like dodge incoming attacks much more as well and these kind of things. What do you think about the removal of the Paragon Cap? Bad move. But we've been complaining for eight years, so what can we do? We almost had it, man. We almost had it. But then they were like, yeah. 20,000. That sounds right. What do you want the cap to be? Uh, I feel like two and a half, three K or so would be fine. Two K would be fine as well. It would be very short to be honest, two K. But for solo players, I think two K would be appropriate. It still gives you something to grind, but you don't have to like overly focus on Paragon in any way. You just get it on the way as you gear up your characters and do speed runs and stuff, and then at some point it's just done. And especially now that you know Diablo three is kind of like not the main game for like almost anyone anymore. I think having like a relatively low cap would be fine. And you don't necessarily even have to hit that cap, right? I mean, it's just an option and it's not like you're suddenly gonna get like three times stronger just from grinding paragons anymore. I think the paragon should be, like the paragon cap should be like, you know, at high enough so that people don't run guardians set anymore. So I guess it would be minimum around 2.5k or so, or 2k, to make sure that most builds switch away from Guardian to, you know, all guild and Crimson and stuff. Yeah, and that happens at roughly 2 to 2.5k for most builds. So yeah, I think 2.5k would be a good Paragon cap. Paragon was capped, yeah. At 20,000. Does ever consider nerfing a Guardian set? I don't think you need, no, need to nerf Guardian set. I don't think it's like super good or something. Oh, he has Terror Demon. Safe Nightmares. I think it's the first time I see them. This season. But it wasn't Illu. <laughs> I mean, so far, I haven't even crafted Guardian this season. I think I should have done it, but I decided to just skip it. Especially if you augment very early. The Guardian set doesn't do all too much.
Technology is already there. Actually, it is. So when I talked to the devs the last time, they actually said that you know they have the option to do the Paragon card whenever they want at, at any level they want. So they actually do have the technology, and there is a chance, I guess, that at some point it's going to decide, okay, let's turn on the Paragon cap. Who knows? <clears throat> How do you stay awake while grinding? Ah, water. Good food for Nini. People in chat that entertain me. Like our friend, the real gamer. And lots of determination. Also, uh, wa cold water in your face sometimes. Kind of helpful. Done 130 solo last five seasons or so, and only 1.7k Paragon non season. 2.5k is for a mighty school part of the community. Yeah, of course, you know, I mean, it's obvious that by far the most players are like extreme casuals that never even get anywhere to 2.5k. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't make the cap 2.5k, you know. You should just set a reasonable number that people, you know, can and want to grind. It doesn't matter if it only affects a few percent of the player base, and even that few percent is like, you know, thousands and thousands of people anyway. So it's still worth it to give them something like that. Just the concept of Uncut Paragon as a stupid system that should be changed, that should never have existed in the first place, and I mean, it just shows, right? There's almost no one that likes Uncut Paragon, and they kept it for a decade. And then they built the technology to cap it, and they removed it after one season. I'm not sure what is more stupid. Like, you know, that's the same in, in like D2, right? Like, how many people have played D2 and how many of those people have ever reached like level 99? Does it mean they should not cap character levels at 99? Of course they should. You know? Even if you've never did it. Even if your highest character is like 95, you know? Like, why would you not cap the levels? That is not an argument, I think. Like, you know, at level 95, okay, my character is done now, and I can only get, like, you know, 5% stronger from grinding out those 5 levels, but that will take, like, you know, 3 times longer than I have already played, so I'm not gonna do it. So D2 is, like, a very extreme example. But basically, you have the same consideration to make in Diablo 3. Where, okay, you know, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm Paragon 1.7k now. Do I really want to grind to 2k to the cap? Uh, okay, I'm going to get like 5% stronger. You know, that's like a third of a GR tier. Who cares? I'm just going to push now, you know, and not waste another dozen hours to grind Paragons. Boom. Then you're done. But just the Paragon cap existing is important. Yeah, PoE still has like the Diablo 2 system with exponential uh, like level scaling. But for example, in PoE, you know, we also have like years of power creep now and everything. Like level 100 is like nothing crazy anymore. You know, even for solo players. You can quite easily farm level 100 these days. But it's still quite a grind compared to like the first like 95 levels or so. And then again, it's the same thing in PoE, right? So you do the like last five levels that take like you know three times longer than the first ninety-five levels, and you get like ten percent power for it. And that's okay, you know. That's like a, a fair trade, you know. It's like it's like fair enough to say, okay, I don't give a fuck. 
right? And this is exactly how it should be in Diablo 3 as well. You should you should be able to say, okay, I don't give a fuck about farming the, farming the Paragon Cap. It's only like another GR tier. And it would take me like a dozen hours or two. And then just say, no, I don't do it. And it's because that's exactly the same trade that you make in Diablo 2 or in PoE. And I think that's a good trade. And in the in the three, I also have the advantage that your levels are shared in characters. It's not even character bound. Fuck! What was the gambling? I oh, wait. Well, it was boots, right? Yeah, I remember now. Was 98 plus, uh, plus a quarter, halfway to 99 in Diablo 2. Yeah, something like that, but people always confuse like XP required with time investment. Like people also say, you know, stuff like, yeah, 98 and a half is like halfway to 100 in PoE or something like that. And yeah, if you look at just XP required, that's actually true. But in terms of hours, that's not true, right? Because at a time when you reach level 98 and a half, you're fucking decked out and you're blasting. Whereas it's the first 90 levels where your character sucks. So... It's like the same thing with like, you know, people say, oh, Paragon 4k is halfway to 5k. Yeah, again, if you look at the numbers, yeah, that's true. But if you look at the time invested, that's not true. You know, it's more like you go another plus 50% maybe. And not plus 100%. And then also you have like the the other problem that games sometimes like scale the XP per level differently, right? Like the, I think in Diablo 4 it was the same thing. Like people say like you know level 85 or something is like halfway to 100 or something. Like in XP that may be true, but in actual game time, you know at level 85 you're almost there. Like, you, you grind another 10 hours and you're there, maximum or something. Like, or less than that, 5 hours. Because in Diablo 4, for example, okay, in PoE, your, your XP actually goes down. If, as you level up, you get less XP. But in Diablo 4, as you level up, you get more XP. Like, monsters give you more XP. The higher level monsters have more XP and there's no penalties and all that. You know, like in, in PoE, for example. So this halfway, it's always like a very, very weird like you know like comparison that people do because they never look at like actual hours of gameplay like if, if you look at Diablo 4 halfway to 100 is not level 85 it's more like level 75 maybe or 70 like once you're like set up in torment you have ancestral gear you're fucking blasting and you're 100 in no time and the slow part is a start When Zuni Ush When ready Did I ever play D2R? I played D2R when it came out, but not more than that. This is the new season, yeah, this is season thirty and D3 right now. And currently I have no plans to play D2R ever again, because it seems like they're not doing any more seasons, or like patches, and I don't really want to play it. If I have downtime between D4 and PoE2, it's going to be Last Epoch for the foreseeable future, I think. And maybe some Torchlight. Torchlight is also nice. I have to say I have zero interest in D2. <laughs> okay, Lost Ark even less, to be honest. 
you know, I'm kind of like half a decade behind on Lost Ark. I don't really intend to catch up on that. And it's also just a game that I don't want to play very much. And it's pay to win, so fuck that. Now the game seems okay. I mean, the game itself doesn't seem that bad, but it has features that I really don't want. You know, I don't want MMO features, first of all. You know, if I want to play MMO, I'm going to play WoW. So, I don't need to play an ARPG MMO just because it's ARPG like or isometric. I want to play a real MMO. But it does have good features, like the raids and the dungeons and stuff and the classes, they, they look actually really cool. Like, they seem very well done. So, no complaints there. It's just like the features that it has, I don't, I don't like them. In that combo, at least. It's just not a combo of features that I want. Go to go at 9pm to Adventure Island A, then to Event B, and don't forget all your dailies. Yeah, I mean, this is how you play MMOs. <laughs> well, at least some of them, I guess. Not WoW Classic though, so that's nice. I really enjoyed WoW Classic Hardcore, I still have to finish my Rogue at some point. We'll see. I'm level, I think I'm level 42, I just got my mount and then I, fin and then I stopped. I'm gonna have to play healer in dungeons. Which healer are you playing? Yeah, wow retail is also nice. I like uh, Mythic Plus a lot. Holy priest. Huh. Yeah, I played only one healer, uh, seriously, which was Mistweaver. I did a lot of arenas as Mistweaver, that was cool, and also some Myth Mythic Plus. This is a really fun build. I like the punching. The so Naris will talk better for 150. Hey, Naris is a better one now. Mr. was very much spin to win. Oh man. Yeah, I have no idea about the current meta and how everything works. Like, I played a lot back in, like, uh, Legion and BFA. Getting Templar from D3 and D4. Yikes. I seriously hope they don't make a very melee focused class. 44. It has too much melee. If they add another class that's like mostly melee, that's gonna be too much. Before getting raids. Interesting question, but the answer is 
Most likely not. At least there's nothing to indicate they would. Okay, let's take a Necro Star set. What is a Necro Star set? Pestilence, right? I forgot they added SSF and now I'm playing SSF on season ladder. I mean, like on a non SSF ladder. Oh man, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Can still do your thing. Rank 296 would be like rank 15 SSF. Yeah, okay, I mean that sucks that you're on the wrong ladder. You can still go check there <laughs> once you're done and see where you're at. B4 was intended to be an MO game. Oh. It's a game closing. Okay, we should lift this. Uh oh. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> you can actually die for this. Apparently, Ugi died to this last season. To the game closing. I didn't know that it was possible, but apparently it is possible to die. Yeah, I don't think you stay in the game for more than like a few seconds. So as long as the Templar proc is ready, we should always lift this. Oh look, we're back in the same map. <laughs> yeah, I've done. I've had a CC many times and I never died. And I thought it's not possible, but last season it actually happened to Oogie Boogie when he was racing me. Oogie Boogie was racing me and he died to this bug. But he died in a push, so I think he had it in a push actually. And he got to kick the menu and died. Does Firebats work for beginning? You got your season set. What is the Helix gift actually? Can you see that somewhere? Sumimasa. And why do you want your Firebats? Was Ugi playing group? I think Ugi is on group leaderboard, yeah. 
I think it's group hardcore. Yeah, I was talking about last season, I remember. He was he was like my main competition for the 150, I think. And then he died to, to this. And I always thought you're safe on hardcore when this happens, but apparently not 100% safe. Because, you know, it, it only takes like 5 seconds or so for you to be able to log in. So that um, usually means the game closes pretty instantly. Yeah, I guess there is like a, a short moment when you can die. Oh, you got the... Wait, you got fire bats before the season journey. Wait, what? I just realized. No, coca Colicker. <laughs> Except for us. Why are Earthquake buffs using Furnace instead of Slender or a little rogue? Uh, because they want to leap. Let's see the old school setup. Furnace and leap. Like the the modern Leapquake doesn't actually leap anymore. It just like attacks or spins, as even saw spinning. But uh, some people still play the old school version. What's the easiest class this season? Uh, easy for what? I guess the age or monk. At least for like general gameplay. I guess the easiest 150 is probably Crusader or Barb or, ne or Nova Necro. Is it possible to make 150 with impair below 1500 paragon? Cool. If you're not fishing and if you're a god gamer with Ring of Fire, yeah, maybe doable. I mean, with Ring of Fire, a lot of things are possible. Thing of light, I can't stand having a bad map on it. Well, good news actually, the rank one was actually done with lightning, and lightning doesn't have so much AOE, so it can actually kind of kill small packs of it, I guess. But overall, I guess you're still gonna suffer if you don't have good maps. But lightning has way more damage output than the fire rune. Did 142 with Rend, nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, Rend with Ring of Fire is also kind of cool. Once you get that chain reaction going, kapow. Sixty four dead. No. Going to push today. Yeah, I was planning to. It's 7 p.m. now. I'm going to start maybe at 10. 
But it's only three hours away, and I still need a bunch of gear, so we'll see. And I also need to farm some soul shards at some point to actually augment. So, ugh. But yeah, let's see. And I also still need to make a dregs and stuff. Let me, let me actually make some soul shards and see if I actually have what I need for the push. I mean, you get an attack speed, drags with pet damage. And we need to get... Uh, attack speed, crit, gem as well for uh, Zuni. We're gonna push Zuni without Ring of Fire, I guess. We're gonna go raw DPS. Kind of thing. Farm soul shards for augment. They can augment uh, soul shards and also can salvage soul shards for normal gems. I don't have enough normal gems either. Yeah. How much gold do I have? Oh, I should stop uh, empowering, I guess. Kind of wasting it at this point. 